from my body. Unfuck me. The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> gang how are you guys i hope you all are good listen it's friday Woo! i'm so excited oh my god i hope you guys all had a good end to your week it is so good to see you guys all here on a friday of all days the most precious of all the days is friday Woo! okay i'm 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 just rambling now <laughs> are you guys good are y'all having a good Let's call this the start to your weekend. Ah, is your weekend starting good already? I hope it is. I hope your Friday was good. Y'all, there's been a whole lot of deleted stuff. We're going to get into it. We're going to take a look at one of the deleted. Um, oh, oh, wait, wait whoo, let me refresh my tab. Something's going on. Hold on. Okay. False alarm. False alarm. Oh, for the love of God. She's putting up crazy stuff as we speak. Oh, man. She's making shorts. And they seem nuts. <sighs> Should we start with the shorts? Let's start with the shorts, I guess. And then we can discuss what we're going to be getting into. How's that? Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, oh, okay. Little update. Hold on. BBJ knew they were sleeping together. Thank you for the super chat. How's Ollie's meds? Please tell me it worked out. Why, yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Um, So you remember yesterday I told you guys a story about what was going on with Ollie. We won't get into all that again. But you remember how I said I would be there this morning at 9 a.m. when that place opened and I wasn't leaving with either meds or an appointment? So I got there this morning at 9 a.m. I was back in the car by 9.12 with meds and an appointment. Oh yeah, that's right. It all worked out. Uh, lesson in life. Never back off. If you know you're right and it's something important as a pet, as a uh, something to do with health, whatever the fuck it is, just if it's that important, if it's important to you and you know you're right, you never back off. And sometimes it pays to make a scene. Okay, I'm not condoning anyone going out there and being crazy out in public, but sometimes in life you have to push. Hmm? So when you push, you get things done. Anyway, I have no problem being pushy. I've always been pushy. Pushy is my thing. Pushy is my niche. So they really fuck with the wrong one with me. Took 12 minutes. I was out there. Hmm. Anyway, all is well that ends well. I barely slept last night. I was so stressed about this all night last night. It was just like eating me up and then boom solution first thing in the morning it was so great mm. <sighs> so that was like a, a huge relief to me personally i had a great friday just knowing that that was all worked out you know oh my god i agree okay some things are definitely important enough to push make a scene raise your voice refuse to leave i'm not saying get arrested i'm not saying go nuts but you know <laughs> insist a little bit insist a little bit Anyway, again, all that to say it works. <laughs> it works for me. Everything's fine. Sunday is no longer like, dun, dun, dun. What are we going to do? Now, let's move on to our girl, okay? Um, our girl was live all night. There's been so many deleted streams. Everything is getting deleted. Uh, the last actual stream up on her channel right now is a get ready with me from yesterday. And you know she's been live plenty since yesterday. It's all been deleted. However, oh, let me refresh again. How many minutes ago was this? 22 minutes ago, she started making crazy shorts. So there's now two little shorts up on her channel. The first one, something, Dear Nader, here is why I delete my content with you, okay? And the next one is called Nader and Debbie. Oh, God, and then Debbie's name and where she works. Should we watch those first? They're just shorts. They're very short. We can have a good laugh at how manic and psychotic she's behaving. And then we'll get into one of the deleted lives. Does that sound good? And of course, you know, we are gathered here. It is our Friday. It is a precious day to us. If she happens to come live while we're live, which often happens on a Friday, you know, we're here. We dip in. We take a look. Okay. Hold on. Let me get the tabs.
Okay, I can't even see. Can you guys see this? Okay, yeah, you can see this. Is there a way I can make this any bigger? I don't know. Did that make it any bigger? I'm sorry. This is Boomer Olympics. You guys know. Okay, so this first one. Yeah, here's why I delete my content with you in it. Okay? <laughs> Nambi, thank you so much for the super chat. Do you think Chantal ever has one of those long, dark nights of the soul? Where she just lays there wondering where it all went wrong, where she can capable of self reflection. I don't, Alyssa. I I don't know. I'm not a doctor or anything, but I would say from everything I know about Chantal and about narcissists in general, which I believe Chantal is one. No, absolutely not. There's never ever any looking internally. There's always just looking externally and figuring out how I can blame everyone else. That's just my opinion. All right, let's get into this first short. Hi, Natter. Hi, Dee Dee. Here's the real reason I delete my live streams that I talk shit about you in. Because you're not worth it, and you, I don't want your shit stain on my channel. So there you go. Have a nice life together. Bye. Wow. So mature. <laughs> I'm sure any of us could have seen that one coming. Let's take a look at the second one. Hold on. Wait, I'm obsessed? I'm in here cooking in my kitchen, watching you two obsess about me. Doo-doo, what are you going to do about it if I continue to talk about you? Don't worry. I won't give you any more clout. The two of you, I'm actually not going to talk about you at all. You're going to get your fucking wish. And I'm going to watch you with everyone else fade into irrelevancy with all the reaction channels. Again, I'm going to travel. Bye, bitches. With oh, my God, that one was so crazy. It was a lot. We might have to listen to that one a second time. Whoa, 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 whoa. How, yeah. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning of that one. Uh, I'm the desperate whatever or whatever the fuck it was. I'm in my house cooking, watching you guys. That's what she just said at the beginning. Am I crazy? That's how it started. Wait a minute. Let's play this one again. Wait, I'm obsessed. I'm in here cooking in my kitchen. Watching you two. Okay, no, wait. I was on pause. I mean, I'm mute. That's exactly what she actually said. What the actual fuck, Chantal? Oh, my God. You can at least pretend like you're not watching them constantly. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, my God. I'm the one who's obsessed. Yes. Yes, you are. They might be on live stream talking about you, but you know damn right they're doing that for coins. What are you doing? You're not being paid right now to be in your kitchen fucking cooking and watching the crackheads on their channel. What is wrong with you? Oh, Shelly Ray, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a great weekend. Obsess about me. Doo-doo, what are you going to do about it if I continue to talk about you? Don't worry. I won't give you any more clout. The two of you, I'm actually not going to talk about you at all. You're going to get your fucking wish. And I'm going to watch you with everyone else fade into irrelevancy with all the reaction channels. Again, I'm going to travel. Bye, bitches. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. So you're going to watch them fade into irrelevancy with all of the reaction channels. Who, I mean, fair could fade into irrelevancy. But you know when that'll happen, right, Chantal? When you fade into fucking irrelevancy. She still refuses to accept the fact that this whole thing works together and we drive the, the momentum to the fucking boring ass story right now. If it wasn't for reaction channels, your channel wouldn't be shit. And I really mean that, Chantal. And that's ever since you lost your channel. We are the ones who lit the fire that started your shit going again. And we are the ones spicing this shit up and making it palatable we're the ones keeping it going so how about instead of talking mad shit you thank us and maybe you give us 10 percent. i'm just saying we get a 10 percent. we split it amongst us i think that's fair <laughs> learn to respect the ones that are paying your rent chantal and that's your vi idiots that's the reaction channels and that's the viewers of the reaction channels put a little fucking respect on our name okay okay how's that hmm then the last thing I want to criticize, you end by going, I'm going traveling. 
Bitch, you're probably making a meatloaf in your kitchen as you speak. Stop talking about going traveling. Just because you keep saying, I'm going traveling, that doesn't mean it's happening. You understand that, right? How about you fucking travel, and when you're on a plane going somewhere, you go, I'm fucking traveling. Because for now, you're literally sitting in Pete's apartment, the one that you couldn't rent in your own name, talking mad shit while you sit on a meatloaf. Okay? Just saying. 70 LBs. Thank you for the super chat. Holy shit, is this true? They found Big Turk and it's not a chocolate bar? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is this true? Yeah, listen, blink twice. I I'm still pissed off. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I had a very stressful day last night. Oh, I'm also having a little bit of... Oh, oh. got to be careful what you say. Um, JD and Lemonade. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I was going to have a Caesar, but I had no fucking celery salt. Hey, 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 Anyway. She's traveling where? To the llama. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The traveling is from the llama to the living room to the kitchen, rolling around. There are pics? Oh. Okay, excuse me. I can't put his pictures up, but let me go. Let me go quickly peruse. Let me go quickly peruse, and I'm going to tell you verbally. What I see, okay? We're going to discuss through explanations only. Only words. No pictures. You know where to go and look if you need the pictures. Okay. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Where is it? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Scrolling. Scrolling. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know about this. I would have prepared it ahead of time. Maybe I should do this while we start the reaction. I'm so bad with Kiwi Farms. Oh, my God. Anyway, I don't dra uh, doubt for a second that they found the Big Turk. <laughs> the Big Turk. If Big Turk existed, it was a, a matter of time until Kiwi Farms found them, in my opinion. We know this. He's even scarier than Koki? Oh, no. I need to see it. This is not fair. Come back, neck. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Dogs by his shorts. Excuse me. <gasps> oh, oh my God. She's such a fucking idiot. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Chantal put up a picture of Big Turk. You don't see his head or anything. His head. You just see a pair of shorts, some legs little bit of torso and a one arm. Apparently that's all it took. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I've seen the face. Granted, it is not a good picture. I don't want to judge the person based on this picture. Cause that that's not fair. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how much you guys know about. I, we can, I can't put that up. There's no fucking way I'm putting that up. If you guys know how to navigate the, the farms, get on over there. Okay? If not, I highly recommend you all, all get on Twitter. It'll be all over Twitter. It's probably all over Twitter. I'm just behind. I've been busy today. Okay? <laughs> okay. Well, that puts a face to the name. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, no, no, no. There's no putting it up in this, uh, y'all know. There's no fucking way. I'm not calling him ugly. Maybe it's a bad picture. You know what his hair reminds me of? <laughs> I've been laughing at this hair for years. Um, I don't know how much uh, you guys know about, like, um... <laughs> do you guys know about, like, Carol G? You know Carol G's ex-boyfriend? Maybe that, maybe you'd know that more than his name, Anuel. Does anybody know who this is? If you don't know who this is, go to Google. He actually really reminds me of his face. And he's got the same weird like bangs haircut. It is exactly the same hairdo. Okay. <laughs> it's the last page, y'all. Last page. Oh. No, no, there's no dropping of Twitter links. With, oh, no, no, that's staying a million miles away from this YouTube channel. We don't do that shit around here. But all I'm saying is if you don't know how to navigate the farms, just go on, on, on Twitter and make an account. <laughs> well, that was really something else. 
70 LBs. Thank you for the, the tea. And yes, La Bichota. You know all about La Bichota. Yeah, I'm a big Carol G fan. Uh, actually can't stand her ex-boyfriend, but the Turkish guy looks like an incredibly amount like Anuel. <laughs> I'm just saying. Rad Plaid, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, girl. Happy Friday. Thanks for being here. Hope you have a great weekend. She's on his friends list on Facebook. Wait, wait, wait. She's on whose friends list on Facebook? She's on Big Turks or she's on Koki's friends list? No, no. There, okay, stop, stop asking for the link. <laughs> Again, there's no link ever going to drop in this chat. So no link. <laughs> he's got weird bangs. Yes, he's got Anuel bangs. It's it's a look. Maybe that's who he's going for. Yes, it's very Millhousey. Well said. Very very Millhouse when Millhouse grows up. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. Big Turks friends. Oh. Oh God. So that's how they found him from her friends list because she showed a picture that was on his Facebook. Is that? Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Hey, just say, is just saying even chatting anymore? Or is she deep in like fucking deep web? Like, click, 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 click. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're too scared of the deep web. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hey, just saying. <laughs> Cosmic Flora, thank you for the super chat. Gorlick Bread has dragged her by the glued on wig past couple of days. Okay, that's great. <laughs> She's definitely pissed. I'd say definitely most pissed at Monty right now. That's the name that keeps coming up. And uh, jealous as all hell as usual of Dee Dee, which I also love. <laughs> Poor guy, Big Turk. Be like Boba Frank. Oh, God. Eat yourself out of the foodie verse. No, he's not hot at all. At all. Yeah, grown up. Okay, from now on, on this channel... We will refer to Big Turk because I don't want to call him Big Turk. I thought she was making it up and it was a chocolate bar. Now that we know that this is a person, it's going to be Grown Up Millhouse. Okay? This is from now on. Grown Up Millhouse. I like it. Kiwi Farms is undefeated. They're just like, ah. Uh, anyway, I, I don't even understand it. It's like, you know, do, 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 do. Computers that I don't co comprehend. They are so fucking quick. It's incredible, really. KD, thank you for the super chat. Can we get a composite sketch, Frenchie? <laughs> I can't draw. I'm not. <laughs> Surprisingly, Chantal is so much better at me than drawing. He's such a millhouse. Yeah, yeah. Grown up millhouse. Yeah. Okay, just saying, says FFG. Okay, you can tell them we're looking for the last winner. We can't find her. Oh, yeah. If you won the giveaway on Just Saying's channel when she came to Montreal, the Montreal giveaway, the, the what do you call the julep uh, hoodie, whatever. Contact just saying. One of three has not yet contacted just saying. Allie, thank you for the super chat, girl. Look at the other pics, FFG, with, without the bangs. Oh, God. Okay, listen. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I, I I need to do some NASA level um looking at pictures. I need to bust out the loop. I need to see this shit from close. Okay? <laughs> Grown-ass millhouse. <laughs> ah! Oh, okay. Looks like an Italian Robert De Niro. What? <laughs> uh, that's going to be a no. <laughs> Herbalife. What, is, what, what, what am I missing? Oh, my God. Okay. I will have to go back and read the chat after. I miss all the fun in the chat. Oh. Hell, yeah, you can. Pet smart, first of all. Happy birthday. Second of all, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Don't be a hippo. <laughs> Ah, uh, she's so nuts. Ay, ay, ay. Wait, wait. No, no. Okay, okay, listen. Enough with asking for the fucking link. I'm not going to put the link. Nobody's going to put in the link. Nobody can put a link. And the mods would never put in a link. Is that clear enough yet? We're, we're never going to put the link? Hmm? Is there any other way that I can say it? 
Go to Kiwi Farms yourself. For fuck's sake, figure it out. I don't know what to tell you. Or go to Twitter and just make a Twitter. It's so much more simple than Kiwi Farms, in my opinion. But if you're brave, you want to get brave on this Friday? You get the Kiwi Farms and you figure it out. <sighs> All right. Let's get to the freaking reaction. How's that? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me close this tab. So many tabs. So many tabs. Okay. We're going to be what? what? Shh, shut up. The tabs are making noise. The deleted live stream. Okay. There was a deleted live stream from very, very early this morning. Um, It's called Nader and Doodoo Final React. Dirty deleted, of course. Uh, let's uh, Let's start taking a look at that one. How about that? How about that? We'll watch her flip the fuck out on them a little bit. And if she happens to come live, again, we're here. We can dip. Okay, hold on. Let me get the tab. I'm going to bring you to that away. I'm going for your letter from the court. Yeah. And that, you have all the things from God. You must have it. Oh, I forgot to mention, I got this uh, deleted from Orange Cat on YouTube. I'm going to put the link to their channel in the description of this video. Let's see it. Let's see it. Where? Let's go. If I'm domestic violence, where? 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 I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You fucking loser. Uh. Right, right. Dudu literally shits herself every time she gets nervous and she's talking about a fart being disgusting. He's actually gone to a court. I bet you they laughed at him. They gave him a pink slip. It's probably a fucking institution referral. Ah! What are you Isn't that disgusting and ladylike? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm sorry in advance. I've been trying to read your name over and over. I'm like, how the hell would you say this? I'm going to fuck it up. I'm sorry I'm a boomer. P3 Arley 22. P Barley 22. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for being back. Nice to see you, girl. I hope you have a great weekend. And I'm so sorry. I have no idea how to say your name. Pearly. Oh, of course. See, that makes sense. God damn it. I'm so fucking old. I'm so sorry, Pearly. Pearly. Thank you for the super chat. Pearly, please forgive my fucking idiot mind. Pearly, I think I said P Barley. What the hell's the matter with me? Even just listening to it through the screen is triggering. Looks, you look stupid. Where's your proof about anything? You haven't proved a single thing <coughs> other than that you're a piece of crap and you lie. I have a frog butt. Just, just for a little context, before we get too deep into this one, she's been awake all night long, clearly watching Koki. These are the wee hours of the morning, and the crackhead is live reacting to two crackheads. This is what goes on now. Nobody has anything to do. See, if all these people had a job, they would have to sleep at night. I know it's a crazy idea. It's not even about just like, oh, I don't need a job. I make YouTube, buddy. Okay, well, then you need something to make yourself tired during the day so that you're not up crackhead hours, not properly reacting to Koki all night. You can't do reactions like this, Chantal. It's so annoying. She's watching it on the computer screen. We can't see him. We can just hear him. I can hear him like, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up in the background like a lunatic. She's on her computer right now. We know she has stream yards. We know she's paid for like the premium stream yards for the whole year, but she can't figure out how to do like what we have right here where you see my bubble moving or you see me reacting and then you see the video. 
So you watch, you pause, you speak, you play, you move on. No, no, no. She will just keep yelling at her computer screen like a fucking lunatic in the middle of the night. Love that for us. I don't give a shit if you have a warrant or not. You idiot. Who does he sound like? You idiot. Like fucking Ren and Stimpy. Oh my god. Ren and Stimpy. Pearly, thank you so much again for the super chat, girl. Certainly not involved in the shit they talk about you. Oh, imagine. Of course they don't have a case. I, if you give me, if you give me a paper, Dee Dee, or Natter, I'm gonna take a big shit on it on my OnlyFans. I went one. Yes, you know bad people. Is that a threat? Yeah, you know a lot of gat no trash. I'm not afraid of them either. Most of them ride fucking bikes to Maxi every day. You think I'm threatened by them? Fuck you. Oh, uh, for context, Maxi is like the cheap grocery store in Quebec. You think I'm afraid of your friends? They ride bikes to Maxi every day. What the fuck? What kind of an insult is that? I bet some of those bikes are in better shape than your fucking hoopty. <laughs> Good idea. Any time, girl. Fugs with the kids. Oh, yeah. Lord of the Fruit Flies. FFG, did you see she read the banner for her channel? New banner, new photo. It's a Chantal rebrand. Lunatic. Because that's what she needs in her life. This is where she spends her time. Instead of, you know, looking for a therapist, looking for some fucking mental health help. No, no, no. I know. I know what'll make me feel better. Let me do another banner for my loser channel. Wow. Time well spent. Because I was very emotionally unstable because of your manipulation. Evil. You're evil, devil. What can we name him? Beazel. Beazelbub. <laughs> no, he doesn't get the word bees. Matter calls his beepo on Chantel and a bunch of grannies from bumfuck nowhere USA show up. <laughs> Is that Sam? Sharon Osborne needs to do that. Get a nice pretty box and shit in it and send it to people she didn't like. Are you fucking serious? I need to do that. I'm kidding. I think El Sammy. Oh my god, no. No, Nadia. Of course she didn't go on her walk this morning. How could she? She was exhausted from staying up all night watching Koki. <laughs> But I mean, even if she slept all night like a baby, she wasn't going on that fucking walk. We know. This is my Yes, Raven Lunatic. That's the picture I saw. Why are you taking a picture? You cannot do thumbnails. Actually, Nashies are better than your shit. Don't worry about it. Dee is such an idiot. They talk about her. Oh, she did. Day. I didn't even notice that she had deleted the post about the schedule. <laughs> She's such a dumbass. Dumbass, dumbass, dumbass. Please fucking sue me. I'm waiting patiently because you're a fucking liar. You could tell on Chantel's face that Natter's Nashi sucked. Okay, your Nashies were not as good as the Nashies. Obviously, they weren't. So I had to itch my fupa. And, um, <laughs> I just fupa queen. I'm kidding. You're so immature. You're so immature. Yeah, well, I'm immature and I'm still traveling to Turkey in a month, bitch. <laughs> I thought the turkey trip was off. What? She can't even keep her own lives straight. Because this was the stream from last night, okay? I mean, last night, she says again that she's going to Turkey. But a few days ago, she said that she was not going to Turkey. Uh, Somehow, wait, wait, how did she word it? <laughs> because quote there's a war going on in Russia she's not going to Turkey <sighs> that sentence made my eye twitch so she had decided she was going to Egypt but now she said Turkey again but what is it what of course she's not going anywhere we know this 
Cuba, I think, is the furthest she'll ever go from home. And that, I don't know, it was like a manic episode made her get on that plane. That Even that, now looking back, it's like, how the fuck did she do that? I like the word bitch. I gotta go to bed. I hope you don't get down from any of this. There, there. No, I'll be okay. Thank you, Sam. Have a good night. In the bed down by the river. <laughs> okay, let's continue this crap here. Exactly, <laughs> big smoke. <laughs> So, you love my fat ass. Shut the fuck up. No, he didn't. That's a good one, Dee. You want a knee slapper? She didn't teach you the Mary crochets, listen. I know Somewhere she would never I, I, I hope. Don't say when I say like I shall never go to Egypt. It's not that I don't want her to. I would love her to go to Egypt. We would get one day of fucking hilarious live streams. Everybody just, oh, I, I want to see it. I just want to see one day, and then she'll come back. She'll she'll quit that trip so fucking quickly. I really, really want to see her go there. It's Egypt, Greece, any country where it's like small, small, small spaces. France, you know what I mean. Oh my God, small spaces, judgmental, loudmouth people. I am so fucking here for any place she wants to go like that. It would be awesome. What, now they're deflecting the fact that they didn't go for a walk? Okay, how? We have bigger fish to fry, okay? Um, the fact that they don't walk 5,000 steps is not the issue here. Okay, condo dwellers? How is any of that their business down under, exactly? They listen to every word while you're on. Listen. She listens to every word. It's sad. Oh my God, Amber R, you're so right. FFG, the airplane ride alone would be there. Oh yeah, yeah. Can you imagine? She would probably purposely like have somehow a flight that has like fucking four stops just because she couldn't stay on a plane for that long. She would freak out, and halfway there, she would like give up, <laughs> come back home. <laughs> what does that matter? What does that even matter? Lie, lie. My lie is like the fact that I'm not going for a walk is a lie. Who cares? What does that even matter? Oh, good for you. You also punched you. Why is this relevant to any of it? Okay. Yeah. And when she does meet them, and when she does meet them, and when she does meet them, and has these experiences with them, whatever it may be, she compares them to matter. I know, I know, a woman, I know. She's comparing them. And woman to woman, bitch, he doesn't love you. He love, he still fucking wants me, and he doesn't love you. So you should be. A Oh, did you hear her just correct herself? Woman to woman, that she doesn't love you. He still fucking wants me. Ah, girl, he never loved you. He doesn't want you. He only ever wanted your money. And then when you were unable to pay one month's rent to get that lease signed for him, you became useless to him. Okay? That woman to woman. Be able to pick, on that, pick up on that as well. And I don't want his eyes. I love that for you. I compare them to Natter. Really? How do you know? Like what? No, I don't. Actually, in a good way for them, yeah. Um, I come online, I fuck Big Turk, and I said, wow, I or Mr. Coffee, I've never been treated better by a man. And I've never been treated by a man. I hope BB was listening to that and BB went, fuck you. <laughs> so yeah, I compare it for seeing how I can do better than him. She realizes that. <laughs> And that's why she just <laughs> Tracy M, thank you for the super chat. It really does look like when, eh? When I read your, your comment, I was like, what? And I looked up, holy shit, it does. You have holes in your condo wall. 
He wants to fuck your best friend. He fucking slapped the fuck out of you, dumb bitch. I fucked him in your bed, stained your bed permanently. What more? How am I? How, 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 how are you enjoying any of this? Since you inserted yourself, your life has been fucked. You almost lost your job. Your mother's gotten sicker. What? How are you enjoying any of this? How am I jealous of any of that? Please go on. Please go on. You will not, you are still thinking, and you know that these guys that you're meeting are not what you want because you're comparing them to that. Um, again, reminder if I wanted Natter, I would be in an apartment in Montreal right now with him. He wouldn't be in your apartment right now. D. Put your fucking hand down, first of all, hiding your chin behind those fake ass nails. <laughs> Attitude. Reminder, you couldn't afford the rent. Hmm? You were supposed to sign the lease for him. You couldn't afford the rent. He hasn't wanted you since then. Absolutely fucking lutely not, Chantal, that you could be in an apartment with him. You couldn't afford him anymore. <laughs> He's a charmoose. He costs a pretty penny. Ah, all that dirty, dirty money. You couldn't fucking afford him anymore. You will not change the story. If Koki would call you right now, you would go running. I mean, running, flooring it. You would fucking Kool-Aid man it out the door ah, <laughs> of the fucking luxury villa to go and pick up your crackhead. Everybody knows it. And when I say everybody, I really do include Koki and Didi in that everyone. Everybody fucking knows it, Chantal. Take this down a notch. It's so pathetic. Oh, my God. Poor pig had to pay for sex. I mean... It is waddling, not running. Okay, Athena, fair. <laughs> fair correction. Ali, thank you so much for the super chat. I mean, really? Really? To each their own, I suppose. Bees and let bees. I hope you know that I had the power in this situation. Got it? No, we don't got it because we have eyes and you fucking played this whole thing out on live stream. God. <laughs> Yes, you are. Because we, I thought we had a good thing, but no, it was all lies, manipulation, abuse, everything. So how again am I in the fault here? Hmm. Like you. Yeah. No, your mistake, because I don't talk about them bad. Well, the micro peener guy, yes, I'm sorry. Um, I, I was tired and very upset. I drove two hours at night to go pick his fucking ass up. And on the way back in the middle of it, he surprised me by saying, Look at my small dick. So <coughs> Yes, BBJ knew they were sleeping together. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, but Trying not to draw attention to him anymore, or it, or anything. I hate the way you say my voice. It sounds like you're butter in your throat. Talk out. Shut up. You're so full of shit. Do it. Okay, and you just spent uh, three hours and 22 minutes and 27 seconds talking about me, dumb shits. The thing is, um, people have the fucking basic human right of freedom of speech, asswipe. And just because you are afraid to be outed by your actions, I'm allowed to talk about any experience that happened to me. That's not defamation. If it actually happened, you would have a hard time proving defamation. Hard time. Hard time. You don't have the money. You don't have the resources. You don't have the time. Well, you have the time, but you don't have any of the other things. <laughs> Ma'am, neither do you. You don't have the money for problems like this. You have nothing but time. And what are you talking about? <laughs> Basic human rights and stuff. What What the fuck? Chantal, keep this shit off the internet. Their right to a certain extent. Yeah, you can talk about whatever you went through. You grossly exaggerated a lot of things you went through. That's not fair for you to talk about. And it's neither here nor there. Why are you talking about this stuff on YouTube? This has no place on YouTube. This is ridiculous. Yeah, this is her reaction, Tracy. This this is it. This is by the way, she wants to start doing more reactions on that stupid Beezer show channel. So this I guess is her test run. Brace yourselves, y'all. <laughs> I'm using people? Using people. Um okay. 
using people for content. Me, I was one of the people to use without me knowing, talking about real life, ruining my video. I didn't use you. Yes, I did. You you were part of my content because I use my, I don't use you as content, fuckface. I use my life experiences as content in which I unfortunately, very fucking unfortunately, met your ass and laid in bed with you from day one, held you while you were crying about your situation, called lawyers around for you. And what did you do? Scream at me on several occasions. Fuck, the shit you did to me is unmatchable. Like, I don't understand how you don't fucking see that. You're insane. This is all your fault. This is your, where you are right now is your fault. Says the woman sitting in a filthy hoarding bedroom in the middle of the night, watching her non-ex crackhead boyfriend, because they were never together, all night long, raging about him from her beautiful life. Chantal, the situation you're in now is all your fault too. Come on, for the love of God, man. You don't like that? I don't like that. I just seen the fucking coldest water bottle on the counter. Even your coldest water bottle. That, that's my water bottle. You even have the fucking fact that you can drink water out of it. Thank me. She will sell her That's mine too. I will sell my grandma. Get away. She will leave her mother. Why are you desperate for stuff to say? Dee, you look like Jeffrey Dahmer in this video. With a blouse on. <laughs> and you look like his grandmother. <laughs> look at the Kool-Aid man getting all fucking worked up. Like she doesn't look like the Kool-Aid man. That was my butter laugh. Ugh. Hey, those are some ugly ass shorts. Keep chugging the wine, doo doo. Oh my god, where's your sideburn? Uh, Comb over queen. She doesn't want your chicken. It's gross. <laughs> tomorrow he's gonna tomorrow he's gonna make her eat the chicken. Eat it for me. Why? No, I know him. He after the film was off, he didn't eat my chicken. <laughs> That's defamation talking about your family. What the fuck do you know about family? Exactly. Hi BMI. Uh Rosalina Valentina, Snaggletooth. Snaggletooth is so desperate for your attention, Chantal. He is clearly a Snaggletooth. No, thank you for the super chat, and that's, that's a good point. All she's proving oh, yeah, is it takes talent, know. personality, and ability yeah, to read a bish to be a reaction channel, and she has none of them. Exactly. Well, how are you? Hi. Oh, coffee shop. I want some fucking breakfast. Stonehenge. <clears throat> I sent a Zupa jet. I'm going to stress about. Oh, well, that's fine. Natter isn't mad until he starts snorting like a pig. Stop it. It's not, you're not wrong though. He got teeth like pickle stabbers. What? I want a pickle. <laughs> oh, fucking, I have the munchies. I could eat a whole jar. I could smash a jar of pickles right now. See, I'm not like you. I'm not going to sit here. Actually, I'm not going to sit here and make fun of his looks because I was attracted to him at one point. I was attracted to him at one point. Girl. Girl, please. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not going to sit here and talk badly about his looks. I'll just keep on sitting here and talking shit about Dee Dee's looks. Even though Dee Dee's not the one that I should even be mad at. And I should definitely be coming for Koki harder than I'm coming for Dee Dee. No, 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 but I'm not going to talk bad about his looks. <laughs> and I'm not an asshole. Like, I'm not going to... Since <laughs> when? I don't know how Dee Dee looks like. I wish... Hold on a minute. <clears throat> It's like grandmother. Oh, who's messaging me right now? I'll make you feel true love when we come to the side. Huh? I'm annoying. I know. The fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I'll be right there. What was it? Oh, yeah. Hold on. You got to see this. So. What the fuck? I'm jealous. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're sitting there on stream yards. And instead of popping up a picture... She just took a picture of her own screen to show. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't think we can call what we do here Boomer Olympics anymore because uh, 
Oh my God. If I'm a boomer Olympics, what the hell is she doing? Madonna, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Uh oh. What? Exactly. No, but sorry. Like, what am I jealous of here? Those, like, the sideburn hack job. Like, this would be my haircut right now or something. No, I would never let him do this to my hair. Not ever again. Or would I? Ew. <laughs> You're jealous of the toupee. Doesn't she look like his mother or something? Like, you don't look like a fucking. Chantal, shut up with the fucking age thing. No, she doesn't look like his mother. She looks her age. He looks like a washed up crackhead. You look 25 years older than you are. Who the fuck are you to keep coming for this woman's age? Look at yourself. And I don't mean through 16 filters. Go and look at yourself in a mirror. How the fuck could this woman keep coming for Dee Dee's looks? Dee Dee is no beauty. But for the love of God, between Chantal and Dee Dee, it's... Yeah, she is so obsessed with Dee Dee because Dee Dee has everything that Chantal wants. The crackhead, a mortgage, a job, a fucking head of hair that grows, eh? discretion. Fuck, Chantal. Blech. You're. Ugh. Yeah, Dee Dee isn't old. I hate the age shaming too. Dee Dee is not old. I just said she looks her age. What's the matter with that? Chantal looks 25 years older than sh she is. She looks like her mother's sister, not daughter. It's really something else. She really cannot see herself for what she is at all, at all. Chantal, you're no beauty. You're no spring chicken, okay? 38 years old is not old, but you really wear it rough. Hmm? Fair? Rye M, thank you so much for the super chat. Damn it. And here was me just saying, well, I'm not a boomer. I don't know how to do a split. A split what do you call split screen like that? I'm so sorry. Attractive couple at all. Sorry. So I'm not jealous. Just saying. Okay, yeah, keep saying it. Keep saying Because just because you keep saying it, all you talk about is her. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. It really shows. But he does too, Nancy Terry, right? Holy shit. Uncut Jams. Nancy P, thank you for the super chat. She fucking called you ugly tree lady? Oh, man. Rich, again, coming from the filter queen. The filter queen who hates herself so much that even behind 16 filters, she hates herself. Talking shit about how other people look. Again, mothers... Never just tell your daughters that every woman they have a problem with, uh, problem with is just jealous of them. Because you breed monsters like Chantal. I could have that. I could have. I could have had him if I wanted to. I was living with you for a year, though. But I wasn't your girlfriend. I was your girlfriend for a week. But I. I Wait, what? Excuse you, delusional. She just said that she was living with him for a year. What are you fucking talking about? Oh my God, Chantal, we've all been watching you. You can't just come out with crazy shit like that. Did I hear it wrong? Is it possible? I may have heard that one wrong. That one was too crazy even for her. Hold on, we need to play that one back. Wait. She's never had somebody, or she's always received what she wanted. She always got what she wanted. So she's reacting. She always got what she wanted. I could have that. I could have, I could have had him if I wanted to. I was living with you for a year, but I wasn't your girlfriend. I was your girlfriend for a week, but I, I lived with you for a year, right? I was living with you for a year, right? I lived with you for a year, right? No, you didn't. Oh my God, that's it. She's lost it. Mama Sarah, where are you? She really just said that. 
I was living with you for a year. Okay. Let's just set this timeline straight. They only met each other at the end of April, 2021, April. By Christmas time, that's December, 2021, Dee Dee's already there eating pecan pie in bed. So that's May, June, July, August, September, October, November. That's seven months. Seven months, not a year. And you know what, Chantal? You certainly didn't live with him for seven months. In what? What What are you talking about? When you were deep in the coke arc, you barely came home. But all of your shit was still at your house. Your cats were still there. You hadn't changed your address. You didn't live with him. You just sort of never wanted to leave. What is wrong with this woman? I can't believe what she just said. Lived with him for a year. Hang on. Wait a minute. So December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Ooh, Dee Dee's now been living with him, but actually for nine months. And this lunatic is still going to sit there. Nine months now. They've been living together. This one's going to come on live talking mad shit about them and still pretending like she has some kind of claim to the crackhead that's been living with another woman for nine months. Am I crazy? I'm feeling crazy. She's made me feel crazy now. Ooh, Chanel Claire. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Hold on. I need a sip of my drink. Oh, she's... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Does she even believe the dumb shit coming out of her mouth? This is how you think, broccoli brain. <laughs> How can he be? Guys, look at me and look at her. How can he be with her and me? Listen, Chantal, again, 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 let me see something. More mature experience. We're not in high school. It, it's, it's not even only about looks, right? It's not only about looks. Yes, it is. I'm just saying. Look, look it's not about just being pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm not, this is not my point, though. My point is. Wait, 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 no. She puts up those two pictures like, who would you rather be with? So she takes like a candid shot of Dee Dee just randomly turning her head in Koki's live stream and puts it up next to a 16 time filtered fat fish photo that she uses to find these men who can barely speak English. And in her fucking mind, because she's so used to eye fucking herself all day on these live streams, does she think that's what she looks like? Chantal, that is not what you look like. Not even close. Not even 5% of what you look like. Oh my God. Chantal, go in the bathroom mirror. Look at the picture of Didi and look at yourself through no filter at all. No makeup at all. Look at yourself, Chantal. Blech. Lego Toes Pondu, thank you for the super chat. Rosalina Valentina, welcome to the that's what I'm saying. What do you think you are? You think you're fucking hotter than the men I'm fucking right now? I can tell you you're not, buddy. You look like a fucking look at nice glasses. Yes, bitch. You look she looks like the guy from the dentist. Wait, 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 wait. The hair, just the hair. I'm just comparing the hair for comedic purposes. Okay, so now check this out. What's that guy's name? Herb? Oh, wait. Scara, thank you for the super chat. Kogi said he made her pay rent because she lived with him. Ah, lived with him or wouldn't fuck off. Two different things there. <laughs> Dentist Elf from Rudolph. <laughs> Bitch, you're fucking Hermie. Okay. So so before you talk about looks, okay, because never before I fucking dumped his ass was just complaining how you don't have a good body. So you want a man to degrade you like that? Okay. Chantal, what the fuck do you think he says about yours? Are you kidding me? How stupid are you, Chantal? If he talked shit about Dee Dee's body to you and you've got 200 pounds on Dee Dee, what do you think he was saying about you? Are you so insane that you think... You then turned him on, but he was repulsed by Dee Dee? Girl, please. Chantal. Hippo, remember? Yeah, and that's all, all just what he said to us. 
Imagine the things he was saying when the camera was off to Dee Dee, to his friends, to the rat guy, to basically anybody who knew who Chantal was. <laughs> bun, bun, bunny. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Um, Herbie? Herbie. Fucking twins. Honestly, Chantal, you were so beautiful to be done, I look like. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, it, it looks are kind of irrelevant, but in a way, not really, because he does like to humiliate women. He's gross. She keeps talking shit about my weight, my looks, too, exactly. But well, whatever, fuck. I don't give a shit at this point about being fucking moral when, when it comes to these two anymore. When did you ever give a damn about being moral? You've been talking shit about Dee Dee since Christmas time, and she certainly wasn't saying a word about you, not on live stream anyway. So now what, she's finally seven months later, nine months later, started saying something about your looks back. And now you're going to try and use that as justification to why you talk so much shit about her? <laughs> Girl, please. <laughs> you're jealous. You talk mad shit because you're jealous. A jealous. And I love that for her. Stay jealous, stay mad, stay lonely, stay 400 pounds, and stay paying charmoots for hour at a time starfishing sessions and trying to throw that in people's face like they're jealous. <laughs> Tamara, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. You are boring. Yes, a lot. What did you do, bitch? Yeah, yeah, I can't. No, it's because you want to be late. Ashley, you always run away. But when we got into Montreal. No, even before, she said she would have to be only with you for two days. Why? Because she knew she wanted to get away. Why? Because she wanted to go into her. She needed a jump too. Mm. Immature right. old bat, thank you so much for the super chat. She needed, her junk food. She needed her junk food, bitch. Are you skinny? Are you skinny? You're a fucking Sasquatch, skunk ape. Shut the fuck up. And not only that, not only that, I don't give Michael Jordan a run for his fucking sneaker size. Jesus Christ, the nerve of this bitch. Ma'am, can you even tie a pair of sneakers? Hmm. Hmm. Again, King Kong is going to talk mad shit about Dee Dee's size. Even with your 16 filters on, you still look a, a shit ton bigger than Dee Dee. Okay? And I do mean a shit ton. <laughs> Girl, please. Please. Pick your fucking battles. A 400-pound person talking shit about the, the size of a 200-pound person is insane to me. Insane. You know what, Didi? I'm going to give you an argument back. Every time she talks mad shit about the size of your feet, you got big feet. Look at the size of this one's head. That is like one of those big, big, you know, the summer watermelons. You know how they're like gigantic in the summer. And if you go and buy a watermelon in the winter, eh, it's like a small watermelon. She's got one of those ginormous summer watermelon heads. Talking mad shit about someone's feet. Shut up, watermelon head. I'm so much better out of this toxic situation, of course. <laughs> yeah, without her wine, her existence would be fucking miserable. Robin, that's interesting. If Dee Dee's feet are so big, how come they fit in Chantal's slippers? Oops. A lot, bitch. What did you do? What did you do? Let him fuck your best friend in your condo? Let him fuck me in your bed? <laughs> that would never be me. That would never be me. Nuh-uh. He would never disrespect me like that in my face. No. No, he wouldn't disrespect you like that to your face. Was it disrespectful to your face when you jumped out of the Arby's sandwich and he dove right in, in front of your face? Wasn't that disrespectful? Wasn't it disrespectful enough to make you go and throw up because it was so fucking disrespectful? Do you even know what respect means? You fucking idiot. You have no respect for yourself. Why the fuck would you even know what respect is? Chantal? is a pig, a fucking pig. And the pig is sitting there right now trying to throw out against another woman that she soiled another woman's bed and blah, blah. You're a 38 year old pig who went trying to be a whore on another woman's bed. You probably pissed all over another grown woman's bed. Why? 
to fuck around with a crackhead at 38 years old. And after all that effort that night, <clears throat> he still wouldn't leave Dee Dee for you. So shut your fucking face, pig. It's enough with that fucking story. You're the one who makes people throw up. You're the one who makes people sick. Every fucking thing about you makes people sick. Because that's why I'm not with him. Because we saw the videos. Yeah, because I was still hungry. So, what? Yes, I'm fat. What? And I'm still better looking than the two of you put together. And you're a fucking fugly love child if it ever happens. Okay, I think 16 times wasn't enough. And listen, I'm in a bad fucking mood tonight. Um, to the fucking idiot who just put the Turkish guy's name, first government name, first and last actual name into our chat. How many fucking times do you have to hear it? For real, for real. Can, can, can that person be blocked, please? Thanks. I am not fucking around. What the hell is the matter with you? Can you stomach with grace? Oh. Okay, bitch, you're like fucking 400 pounds yourself. Again. Again. And I would weigh 600 pounds and still be more desirable than you. I can guarantee it. So, be real. Be real from two people who are lying in and out about everything? You're the fakest bitches I know. I couldn't handle him for more. No, you wanted to No, I couldn't handle him. He's fucking energy vampire. If, if it was just about eating junk food, why was I fucking screaming and crying all the time at his ugly ass? God, he looks like Bob Saget with fucking... On crack or something right now when I pause this. Dee, you're, you're looking the wrong way at the camera. Uh, it's okay, Nick. No, no problems. I saw somebody got them. The only crying I'm doing right now is from getting too much. But if you notice, we were not talking about her. Um, not. I don't care. This is my experience. I get to talk about what I want. Carrie F, thank you so, so much for the super chat. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Okay, Hermie. Hey, Hermie. Okay, well, what are you, you going to do about it? What? What are you going to do about it? Do something. Do something. You're literally talking about me for three hours here. Do something. No, you can't be anything because you abused me for a year and you're a piece of shit. Yeah, I should go do it myself. I don't give Whimsical Minzy, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. I don't listen to them, dumbass. You think you get, get better advice? Shut up, comb over, please. To her VIPs. Jeffrey Dahmer, do something. Coward bitch. Shut up, gonorrhea. Yeah, because you deserve it. You're an abuser. You deserve it. You deserve to go to jail. You deserve to be in prison right now. You're an abuser. You're a piece of shit. I don't want to know you either. You ruined my fucking life almost. No, you didn't. I have a better life now. And your life is ruined and hers too. Good. You deserve it. Karma. You come cry, cry. You think I want your ugly gonorrhea giving ass? Please, if you saw the men I get now. And Jeffrey Dahmer and your slut screwing Dee Dee. Everyone's laughing at me. Yeah, you were. You weren't with me for a year. You were telling me you were, so that you're a fucking liar. I was living at your house, you piece of shit. Okay. You fucking lying piece of sack of shit. You're going to get everything that comes to you. I would work her fucking ass. Hey, hey, Didi, ever mistake the lube for the Ben Gay, bitch? No, no, no. You did this to yourself. You did this to yourself. If you lose your job because trolls report you for being a fucking asshole, that's your problem. And from the side, you look like Jeffrey Dahmer giving a blowjob. So eat shit. You pushed my limits and now you're reaping what you sow. Keep talking about me, baby. I will fucking do it this every time. This is not going to be the last reaction. Keep doing it. Keep doing it, asshole. Yeah, meanwhile, the stream is titled Nader and Doodoo Final React. This is not going to be the last one. It's never going to end. There. Uh, okay, listen, there is a Big Turk. Big Turk is now out there. We see Big Turk. Fine. Big Turk is clearly not a relationship. Put it that way. Is that a diplomatic way of saying it? It's not a relationship. It's a transactional thing. Until this one finds a new obsession, it's not going to end. This is it. Every fucking day. Every fucking night. Wake up in the morning. Go on YouTube. There's six more live streams deleted. This lunatic watching fucking Koki all night and stuff. This is it. And Koki will keep it going. Not because he gives a fuck. Because this is how he brings the dirty, dirty money. 
No one wants to watch a boring crackhead cook. I've been saying that and I'll keep saying that. It's only based on the views he makes off of Chantal. And she's so stupid that she can't control her mouth. Well, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Uh, you did. You're a piece of shit and you know it. That's why you hate yourself and you take it out on women. You take it out on women. Howard. Howard, come do something about it. I will fucking put you in your place. Woman abuser. Do it. Do it. Do it. What, what the fuck are you going to do to put anyone? I'm going to put you in your place. You already tried that at the cops and you fumbled that one. You can't keep saying things like, I'm going to put you in your place. You two haven't been together in nine months. Leave them alone. For fuck's sake, man. You know how psycho she looks? I mean, you guys know how psycho she looks. Nine months now, he's living with another woman. Nine months now. Whoa. She's nuts. Ah. Uh, Gita, Gita, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm beautiful as my avatar shows. Your avatar is adorable, girl. Huh? This is one Yeah, yeah, what, what, small yours? Listen, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, asshole. If the things <laughs> I don't like when you talk about me doesn't matter anymore when you say that. I've heard you loud and clear, bitch, that you said you don't like when I talk about you online, and now I'm looking you right in the face. And I will tell you that you don't have a right to that when you're abusing someone. I have every right to talk about it. You will lose every way, shape, or form in court. Don't even fucking try with me. Don't try yet. And keep talking about me. Watch. You look like an idiot. You look like you know that people are laughing at you or no? And Dee, do you know people are laughing at you or no? Meanwhile, it's like 6 a.m. on the East Coast as she's saying, do you realize that people are laughing at you or no? Chantal, you look, look how exhausted her eyes look. Look at her face. Look at her. She's been awake all night long watching Koki all night and all day. And we know it was all day also because of that reflection on her sunglasses yesterday in the picture that she posted. She's like wired out of her mind right now talking about how crazy they look and how stupid they look. I mean, they do undeniably, but look at you sitting there in your fucking head wrap with those exhausted ass eyes watching your crackhead instead of even trying to pretend like there's another guy in your life and all these men treat you so great. If they treated you so great, you wouldn't be up all night watching Koki crying and pining. <laughs> Pinky Pink. Hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Start snorting. Start snorting. This is the way. I will deal with you. You created this. You created this, bitch. You created this. This is the last step of my mother and the other things. I said, you're going to go to mine? No. My mother said, I told you, I'm going to go to mine. What are you even talking about? I never said your mother's. You're full of shit. Oh my god, he's such a liar. Holy shit. I'm talking about stuff. I'm talking about stuff. Didi, you look like a dumb fuck. Those videos came out of him abusing you. And you are the biggest dumbass sitting there looking like Jeffrey Ugly Ass Dahmer, thinking you have one up on me because you have this STD giving loser beside you. Bitch, you're insane. You are the two biggest jokes on the entire internet right now. You know what I mean? No, we don't know what you mean because you're there. And as long as you're participating, you'll always be the biggest joke. She killed Kenny. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. On the couch. <laughs> yeah, she's a fucking dumb biatch. Hey, Wowser. I wish he was gone by tomorrow from internet so we can find new bees. I'm not laughing at the women that were abused by his ones. We know. I think he continues to buy her. I don't connect you, Terror. She, this is about how she treated me. She has been from day one. She, when she fucking, she inserted herself. You don't understand. I don't care. She's a fucking bitch. I will not stop with this stupid shit. She inserted herself. Yeah, she did. She inserted herself. She seduced a single man. It was gross. She likes it the most. We heard the whole thing. It was gross. But Chantal, y'all weren't married. There was no union here. There wasn't a relationship. There was nothing. Nothing. She was part of your audience. If you hadn't platformed that piece of shit, and told your audience to go over and be supporting him, she wouldn't have even been watching Koki like that or had that, you know, oh, again, you were the one telling everybody to call him on Messenger, call him on Messenger. Well, whoops, she did. And she liked it the most. <laughs> That's on you, dipshit. Stop saying she fucking did something to you. She didn't take anything from you. Anything. There was nothing to take. 
Vicky, exactly. Pure jealousy. Thank you for the super chat. I won't defend Didi in my chat at all. I won't it won't happen. Okay. She's in on this. She fucking manipulated and lied and, and coerced and everything. Absolutely so, yeah, agree. She, thank she, you she, so she, much, Mods, and thank you, Pix, for the super chat. Too. So I'm sorry, but I don't like the fact that you defend Didi at all. I know. She's just a fucking like she's she's abusive herself. Which is entirely possible. It's not only women who get, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, oh, I don't know. She is awful. And I just have no, because of what she did to me, I don't have any sympathy. I have a cold, dead heart for her. Like, it's dead. I wish her nothing but misery for the rest of her fucking life. Like, I don't. The empath, the self-proclaimed empath, wishes Didi nothing but misery for the rest of her life. Didi, again, who is with the person that she claims to be her abuser, and we all saw the leaks from that Sam's channel, right? Can you imagine sitting there and wishing harm on that person when you hear what's going on? You're disgusting, Chantal. And again, this is part of why people don't believe what you went through. Because nobody who actually went through it like that would wish that on anybody, even their worst enemy. And she's not your worst enemy. He is. You're just too psychotic to see that. That Amber chick, thank you for the super chat. Don't care. The both of them. Nat and Dee are both abusers. They are. Evil always wins. Nah, I'm not going to let it. Do it to Nat? Do it to me? You're doing it to the people you're dating right now. Woman like you. Woman to woman. Every woman. Every woman. Woman to woman. Woman to woman, you look like a pathetic ass bitch. Nothing. And you have a bad style sense. Jesus Christ. You're doing a. I know someone sitting there in that outfit with that head wrap on on the internet, dressing the way you do, is talking about someone else's style sense. <sighs> Chantal, I'm not even going to say it, but what is there to say? This is so ridiculous. Chantal, you are, you are the biggest joke on this fucking platform. Just keep talking. Yeah, style sense. Now we've hit the worst style sense. Fucking crime making me watch you guys. Your fashion sense is horrid. That's who you are. Who this, this, this is how I am. Who are you behind the camera? Is who you really are. I'm not fake. I don't need to hide, bitch. Look at you, Didi, trying to look at the camera and fucking all drunk. <laughs> this is who you are, murderer. <laughs> That's what sad. About what's sad it's about sad. you is that you're the biggest dumbest simp in life, and your man wants to fuck your best friend who's hotter than you, even with her fucked up eyebrows. You need medication. You need to be locked. <laughs> well, Shannon was your best friend for 23 years. I'm sure everybody who was ever sleeping with you wanted to fuck your best friend, too. <laughs> How's that, Chantal? Sitting there like you're not the uggo, please. Alice, thank you for the super chat, girl. You need a fucking exorcism, Natter. You are pure evil. People watch you snarl and snort and beat the fuck out of this woman here that you love. And she's so sexy with her fucking manly haircut you gave her. Do you pull that hair when you're screwing? Jesus I do the right thing one time in your life. Least, no oh, I do a lot of right things. I should the right thing I should have done is never drop those charges on you. Because they all happen. If I see you on the right track. Yep. I agree. No, I'll be on the right track. Yeah. I won't need to talk. I'll be dating someone who doesn't need to be talked about. I won't need to out their abuse. But it's been you keep saying that every day. Using other people. Abuser, like, abuser. If, abuser. So you were joke. Oh my God, does she? BBJ knew they were sleeping together. That is so funny. Thank you for the super chat. I'm going to go watch that after. Nobody gives a fuck, Natter, what you say, Green Pain. Or maybe you talk about them when you don't even know like me. No, never. Never talking about, other than that little micro dick, no one else. Oh, yeah, Kevin's sorry. Whatever. Nobody knows who they are. They don't know their names. So who cares? I'm allowed to, I'm okay, y'all. I see she's live, and the title is. Very intriguing. Let's let it marinate for a few minutes and then we'll go in and speed it up, okay? This is the thing, Natter. I'm allowed to talk about shit that happens in my life. I didn't say their names, so who fucking cares? You have no grounds. You're just mad because I outed who you really are. Stay mad. Yes, I'm here. We're here now. Sorry, I just want to eat before we um, make a chat. I'm sorry. We need another minute. Your french fries are not crispy at all. They're all soggy. You think I miss your soggy fries, bitch? 
Red plaid, thank you again for the super chat. Last last reaction will be everyday last reaction. He is. He's destroying a trauma card. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You can sit here a smug all day, and I know you hate living with her. And I know you hate your existence. I know it. It's so sad how you look at him with your freaking watery little fucking drunk cross eyes with love and he looks at you like he just wants to keep raging at me for destroying his life, leaving him with you. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going in. Wait, 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 wait. Are going down. I will be reporting every single one of you for bullying and harassment. Thank you. It's been about time. I have 26 fucking different channels leeching off me, causing shit, starting shit. No, it's going to end. It's going to end. I have mods to take care of nasty comments and delete by never to be unblocked. A new direction for my channel. New life. If you can't see that I'm trying to move on with my life, I'm sorry for you that me not being messy is going to be bad for your bank account and you need to make up bullshit. I'm sorry that that's what you have to do to survive. I really feel bad for you because it's really a lame way to live. And yes, I'm losing it. And you're profiting off of my fucking misery. So are you any better? No. You're sitting here laughing at the fact that I'm losing my mind having to deal with a fucking former narcissistic abusive relationship. So you know what? How about you eat a pile of crap and shut your mouth? Who is she even talking about? Yes, oh my God. Look at, at what, what these people, people, this fucking bullying. That's all it is. Bullshit, bullying, harassment, period. Bullshit, bullying, harassment, <laughs> period. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. So, so if you guys, guys want, want a mod, you have to comment on my, I can't add moderators like, oh, yes, I can. Oh, that's so cool. So I want, yeah, like moderators, like I don't want to like. Oh, she's everybody. talking about Alex is shook. What the fuck? Uh, Why? If you guys are moderators and you see nasty comments in my <laughs> comment section, Mono Goth, I love it. Thank you for the super I chat. Hide, them. hide those people. If they're nasty and bullies, hide them. If they're just stupid, hide them. Hi, Bridget. <laughs> like. They're act I did you not watch me for a whole year and comment on my content for a whole year? Like that I was in this crappy abusive relationship. And now you're gonna like be like, oh well, she's talking too much about it. You know what? You don't have to watch it. You get that, right? No, but you do because you can't make money unless you fucking do watch it. Okay, so Again, why is she so mad at reaction really? channels for no what reason instead of being mad at Koki right, right now? What to talk about on channel. Channel. Especially it's when it pertains to something they went through. Traumatic. And you don't have a right to tell people they don't have PTSD. You can get PTSD anyway. It, it, one small event can cause PTSD. But you don't have... And you don't get to decide when and if you have PTSD. You can't sit there throwing out things like PTSD and getting mad at people for saying that you don't have PTSD. Go to a doctor. Go and get checked out professionally, mental health, okay? And let a professional tell you that you have PTSD. You don't have anything. Oh, oh, and while you're there getting a PTSD diagnosis, ask for that fucking anxiety diagnosis that you love to throw around so much. You can't decide what you have. I have a right to do is tell people how they can feel and how they can process pain and trauma in their life. And you need to stop. You need to stop Alex's shook. You need to stop reaction channels. Not me, you. No. You are the ones perpetuating all this shit, all right? I'm making fucking beef stew in my kitchen. And how many of you leeches have something to say about it? What? What's so fucking controversial about making beef stew? Can anyone tell me? I'd like, like to know. I hadn't said a word about you making beef stew. What the fuck? <laughs> PJ, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Lambo. So, hello, everybody. Lynn. Hey, Pete's. Fuck you, know, fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck off. <laughs> have a fucking problem with everything I just went through? Okay. And you bolt, you're full of shit because if I stop doing this, you would have no content because watch. Actually, you need to hang on to this. You need to hang on to it with every thread because you know what? After this, you're not getting any more content for your fucking shit channel unless you make up shit. And you better watch it because I will come after you for defamation because I can afford it. Oh, and baller, babe. 
bitch now. She's coming after everyone for defamation. What is she even fucking talking about? Where's the defamation? All anybody has done for a year is point out when you lie, call you out on your lies, figure out when you're lying. Defamation where, Chantal? This is such a weak attempt. Put your fucking fingernail hand down. Stop trying to act like some boss bitch. See, she's so mad at Koki, but she can't rage about Koki too much because then Koki will never call her back. So shit always has to roll down. She eats the poo-poos from Koki, and then she dumps the poo-poos on the VI idiots and the reaction channels. This is her cycle. It's been like 16 months now. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Jesus. Hi, Langella. Ready, set, freebies. Hi, Lindsay. I mean, what the hell? I, I, am I right? Like, you would not have content if I didn't talk about it. So when you say it has to stop, so then so will your income or what? You're going to just talk shit like, oh, my God. So what I you're see. saying is that you don't have any uh, content yes. outside of talking about Koki. That's what you just that's said there, Chantal. Me. You just talked about me with him for fucking two hours, you dumbass. So, yes. You will sit and take everything that you inserted yourself into. You have no case if you, I know, you have nothing to say. You inserted yourself here a year ago. You inserted yourself in this. Do you get that or no, you don't? Wait a minute. Something just clicked. I'm such a moron. You know why she's mad right now? You know why she came out right now mad? It's so obvious because of Big Turk being doxxed by the farms. I'm so stupid. I can't believe it took me all but five minutes to figure that out. Of course, that's why she's mad. Big Turk was doxxed. Oh my God. So now what? We're all going to eat the shit because uh, Kiwi Farms doxxed your Big Turk? Again, Chantal, because you did not learn your lesson the first fucking time. The first time they found Koki because you flashed your phone. And the second time they found Big Turk because you flashed your phone. There is no one to blame again except for your dumb ass. Is your comb over on too tight? What's the deal? Jesus. Hi, Lo-Fi. I think I'm okay right now for, for mods. <laughs> I appreciate it. If I mod more people, I will. If it's a shame they have no channel without you. Boring as hell. <laughs> they already are boring as hell. Like, they act like I sit and watch all their videos. No, I don't. You're boring. Yes, you do. Oh, ma'am. Yes, you do. Come on. Courage, yeah. yep. And this is all your, this is like, you're just like Roman now, Natter. All you can do now is use my name and your title for views. Because you know what? And you say from the beginning, I used your name for views. No, sorry. I would lose subscribers every time. Yes, every time Indy. I think she is. So interesting. Woo! So I might have, I have subscribers and you don't. Why do you only have 8,000 subscribers? Which you wouldn't have if it weren't for me. You you, you like to say, oh, you used to make $25,000. I went to Cuba. I did shit. And yeah, I talked about a lot of crap that you did to me. Cuba costed what? Two thousand dollars? Oh my god, I went to Cuba. I'm like it's like uh, the vast majority of her income over the past year. Girl, stop. Who curly and fucking Yolanda? Yay. Desperate women. That's all you're ever gonna have is desperate women. And I love that for you. So you just wanna live your lives and I'm I'm obsessed. Please, please. I'm obsessed with getting you the fuck behind bars. That's all I'm obsessed with right now. Oh, Actually, well, you fumbled when you had the chance, so. Stupid little existence by yourself. Goodbye. You feel, ugh, anyway, I know you've munched, ew. <clears throat> Don't ever be sorry for addressing these little lies. I'm still going to travel, exactly. You're going to be stuck in your stuffy little shitty condo with your, you're so miserable. Everyone knows you're miserable. All oh, you do is come on live. You act like you have a life. All you do, she auditioned for the show and got the part of side Coco character. If she wants to get out, she can then subscribe. Yeah. You have no case because they're going to look at you and go, so you called in and inserted yourself in this public figure's life and you appear publicly in videos and you talk about this woman as well? Oh, imagine that. So why would this woman have a problem with you? Oh, you manipulated and lied with her and st like fucking stuck her boyfriend away from her and fucking helped him uh, manipulate her and everything else? Oh, 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 she should be. Oh, I see why she's mad now. Yeah, yeah, yeah Luna, so the fucking hug box wasn't huggy enough, I suppose. They're going to gag. You're going to gag. They're, it's coming. It's coming. All of you are going to gag. And this is why we're blocking because it's going to be a good time to be a beezer. Get be get ready, y'all. Get ready to gag. It's about to be a good time to be a beezer. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> Lazy. Thank you for the super chat. Love that for her. I love to be a mod. I have nobody on my own. 
Aww. <laughs> I'll send for you. Okay, I'm not sure if I need more mods right now, Limdo, but like if I do, yeah, maybe. Let's lock minions unite. I mean, you and I, you and I have had beef before, so. Bell, welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, bees. Yeah, like you said some pretty nasty shit about me, so I don't think so. No offense, but I mean, I'm only picking people who have like never, I've never had a problem with because I don't want them to fucking turn on me and it'd be a shit show. Hi, Lumi. So if you've licked my ass consistently since the beginning, you can be a mod of Magenta. I didn't even get one for the peach rings. Fucking annoying. I'm never order. I'm not ordering from them ever again. I'm just gonna like order from somewhere else. I know someone else. I have immunity by Sofa Game. Wait, you look good in that super chat pick. Is that me? I don't even think it's me, is it? Hey, Auntie M. Well said, girl. Something I'm just going right? to say it once. You can't steal someone who doesn't no, want to be I stolen. Want, like, he wanted to get myself. away from you, Chantal. Like, well said. Like, exactly. Whatever, you know. Never mind. Someone you also can't, can't steal something that does not belong to someone else. Huh? <laughs> he was single. Never can't be stolen. Uh... That's why um, I'll never be get to be one of her mods. <laughs> Hi, Keisha. Pete's. Don't make me say it, Pete's. No, I don't want to have many right now. So it's nothing personal, you know. It's just um, excited for the next chapter. Yeah. Hi, Judith. <laughs> um, reaction channels are a lazy way to create content. Stella Merhan. Ready, set, freebies. And that's the thing. Like, I don't mind criticism channels, but they're not criticism. Like, they're just let's just talk shit about what she's doing today. That's all it is. And let's just victim shame and fat shame and everything else coming from a bunch of fucking mo motliest crew I ever seen. Like, you know, hi chaperone, Lolo. Oh, Lolo, did you, where? Where's your repeat comment? Oh, search, I just missed you. 15 months, you in this community make me laugh every day and I'm so grateful. I love you guys too. I, I missed, what did I miss here? Ready, set. Babies and Belle, welcome to very important. I mean, Actually, Actually, she's gonna try, but she could never. Oh, that's so crazy. Someone who's been here so long. Did I miss anyone else while I was scrolling here? I won't be able to be around as much as I like because I'm back to work now, so I try to catch as many. That's okay. Thanks for being here. Bullying period, it is. If you need me to help from time to time, I'm here. Thank you guys. And I can always just mod people randomly, like if I really need it. So Criticism is one thing. It's organized. It's God, exactly she's so like, fucking it's, weak, eh? It's Raging all day at random people, but then has to have mods in her hug mods, box because she just can't take it anymore. A lot of them. FFG, all of them fucking hate me. So that is fucking bullying and harassment. Criticism is one thing. Interesting choice there, Chantal. FFG fucking hates me. So right there, it's bullying and harassment. Interesting. Chantal, I didn't hate you before. That's why this was an interesting little lane that you just picked. Everybody knows. I watched you for years. I was like a cheerleader watching from the sidelines, hoping that you would, you know, do something better with your life. And it was only after going around on the cycles with you about 17 times, you got to, I don't know, the third or fourth time that you were doing plant-based vegan. And I realized the cycle that we were in is the cycle that always played out with you. And my opinion started changing. I didn't really wish you the best anymore. I realized this is what your channel was for coin. Okay. Did I start hating you then? No. I kept watching. By then, you've been watching someone a long time. You know what I mean? I was in it. I'm in the story. Whatever. I so didn't hate you. You started dating, <laughs> dating, seeing this loser I found out some shit, some alarming shit about your loser. And I tried to warn you because I didn't hate you. And I was worried about what was going to happen to you. You don't worry about people you hate. And the thank you I got for discreetly reaching out to you and giving you the information was my number doxed on the internet by you. You gave my number to your alleged abuser had him harass me all day long, come out and threaten me on live stream, and then you doxed my number. And that bitch was all done online. That is definitely against TOS. Far away from online, that's also a crime in Canada. And I wouldn't fucking hesitate. I'm not like your bitch ass, okay? Fucking try me, Chantal. I said this then and I'll say it again. 
You make a move, I will definitely make a move. Don't make me make the move. Because I have sat on my hands for over a fucking year now. And yeah, now do I hate you? You're goddamn right I fucking hate you, Chantal. I have hated you since the day you put my fucking name online and gave my phone number to your abuser and sat there giggling while he threatened me. You can stay fucked and stay not getting fucked. You are the scum of the earth, and I do wish you bad. <laughs> yeah, I do hate you now. Go fuck yourself, Chantal. Thing, making you feel like shit because you've been abused is another. They are abusers. It is abusive. It's very, it's triggering. Yep. Keely, hope you had a great weekend. Thank you, Keely. Ready, set, it is. Basic, basic. Whether it's 5K steps or 5K calories, I will be there. <laughs> Yay, basic, basic. Ready, set, it is. Hi, band Beezer. Joey, I love you too. I hope we get banned for joke. No, you guys, like my Beezers that I've modded know my sense of humor. They know who I don't like. Um, You know what I mean? Vicky. Yes, I have like people that if I want when I add more, I definitely like her. I do trust for sure. Vicky for sure. Rose Red, that's a really good question. Do you regret telling her? No, I don't regret telling her because even though she's a fucking pig, it doesn't change who I am. And I couldn't sleep with the information that I had. I was so fucking worried. I don't mm, shift my goalposts, personal goalposts, morals, whatever you want to call it based on who you're you're doing it for right i don't regret it it was the right thing for me to do at the time for me for her whatever for me it was i don't regret it i would do the same thing again it is what it is go call me a fucking cow tipper for another fucking year i don't give a fuck <laughs> yes you need to keep your brand to yourself smart moves hi faith Uh, Nisa, Roni, hi, Freaky Nights. Can we keep the Discord kids in the pen for at least 24 hours? I'm just going to keep them out because I don't, I think I'm just over that shit, you know? Your vape died. <laughs> hi, Faith. You have to charge it. Has it been 35 minutes? Not even close. It has to be close. It's been like 16 minutes. <laughs> Reaction channel eat slime. Ready, set, rebies. And JB, Frankie, uh, I remember for eight months. Ready, set, rebies. <laughs> That's a lot of rebeezing today. <laughs> I'm mixed. I'm freaking happy for it that you guys are rebeezing. I'm going to be moving my high concept brand to Beats. He's gaining subs again because of his clickbait. Why, people? Why? Because they hate me so bad that they're willing to support an abusive person. That's really sad. And that's all on you guys. Like, that's your fucking karma. I can't deal with that shit sorry i'm not gonna bother and i'm not gonna watch you like i'm not ever gonna watch you again i'm i swear to fucking god i'm not watching you ever again so it's she's gonna end the stream and like go right over to koki's channel to see what she missed right right now i have people bringing up stuff again keep giving her money haters yep thanks lolo if you have mods now they can make this much better yeah like especially like i just feel like like you know if you guys are reading through comments and you like and you can. Hi, Blind Cheeseburgers! I love you are the moderator. So I have all my Holy Trinity, and then I have some extra people that have just, like, you know. And I have some, like, if I need more, I can add more people. But for now, I think I'm okay. So I appreciate it. Yeah, so Blind Cheeseburgers, I just want people to delete. Like, if you guys are going through my comments, and you can delete the nasty losers, that would be nice. Thanks. Okay, so. Oh, I have a cooking video up, by the way. Pete's no one cares. Go away. Oh, and to the people who don't like how harsh I am on Pete's, no one cares. Go away. <laughs> Block them. Block them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you guys know what I want. Like, um, mostly just for comments, like in the comment sections. Like, if you see nasty haters, just fucking block them. But um, I can't wait to delete those fools. Yeah, like if I'm not looking, because usually I can manage deleting people in here, but if people are harassed, like if really hateful and stuff, you know what I mean? At the funeral, oh, intuitive duck, that's amazing! Congratulations! At the, At funeral, the funeral, when the pastor asks if anyone has any last words, Pete, I have a new cooking video on a Mass Effect. Let's play <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> Poor Pete. Ah, uh, Oceana Song, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Frenchie, she envies your intelligent, clever rubber band lips. Love oh, you, girl. I mean, I really agreed. 
I don't say this to be a dick. I'm not one of those. Everyone's jealous of me at all. Again, I didn't grow up like that. She's not jealous of my bod. She's not jealous of my looks. She's here's what she's jealous of. She's jealous. Yeah. Of that connection between my brain and my mouth. It's just magical. You either have it or you don't. You got it or you don't. Some people have it. Some people don't. She does not. And she wishes she does. You know, she she wishes she could burn someone the way I can. She wants to be able to like snap back at me the way I fucking do it to her. And she can't. And it kills her. And I love that for me. The other thing that I know without knowing that kills her, that she is actually jealous of, is that I sit up here, a fatty myself, not afraid of being a fatty, not afraid of going out in public, not afraid of getting on top, don't have to pay for any company. You know what I mean? Uh, there's a certain confidence, again, that has fuck all to do with your body weight, your body type, your whatever. It's it's just about who you are, right? You could, Chantal could be 110 pounds and she would still be like uh, scared of people and like afraid to do anything. It's a confidence thing. She doesn't fucking have it. And she wishes that despite the fact that of being a fatty, she was not so uncomfortable in her own skin. That's all. Yeah. Anyways. Do I like slip knot? I haven't been asked that in like 20 years. Um, yes. No, I don't actually. I really don't like slip knot. You? No, never like slip knot. Hazel Grace coming through with the Mensa quality response of, then why don't you show your face? Bitch, do you think it has anything to do with what? My lack of confidence? My weight? How fucking stupid are you? Do you guys want the real truth about why I stopped showing my face on camera? I'm going to tell you exactly what it is, whether you like it or not today. It is what it is, okay? It's very simple. For example, right now there are 3,100 people in our chat. Our chat moves extremely fast, and I am chronically 15 minutes behind on the chat. I was always way further behind on the chat when I had my camera going. I couldn't focus on just reading the chat, keeping up with the chat and watching and listening to Chantal. If you go back to when the camera's on, it is undeniable that my reactions are nowhere near as like on point and concentrated as they are now, nor could I keep up with the chat. It's, a, it's another thing to have to do while you're trying to do all of this. And this is not easy. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not, okay? Over a year now, and it's still not fucking easy. No, I want to tell everybody the reason because it is the reason. I found it much more um, handleable. Is that a word? I don't know if that's a word. Easier to, to handle, easier to grasp when I didn't have the camera on too. It's something less to do. And it gave me the chance to be able to sit here with my J dangling out of my mouth, not worried about, oh my God, is it on camera? Oh my God. And just fucking do my best to keep up with Chantal, what she's saying and the chat. It is what it is. It's not that deep and it's no deeper than that. Don't block. No, Lambo's a mod. Where is Lambo? I modded Lambo. So I have my favorite people. No, I'm kidding. You guys, if you're here, you're be if you're here, you're my favorite people. But um, you know, I just I don't want too too many mods. It just gets messy. And so I that's why I got rid of them before. Chantal, it looks like you have people who will have your back around the clock. We're all in the different time zones. Yay! <laughs> no, but it's true. Like, okay, here's the thing. Like, oh yeah, and yeah, Faith has been around for a very, very long time, too. So Hi, Hal. Don't block me, please. I'm new. Yeah. Lindsay. And you know I love and trust you, Lindsay. Uh, and by, just by the way, because I just reminded myself, uh, oh, you know my new channel, so that new one, and I got all the fancy equipment for it and stuff? That's just going to be me walking the fuck around, talking that shit, or driving here and there. I'm going to be on camera because I won't have Chantal to keep up with, the chat to keep up with, witty comments to keep coming up with. It's just not the same vibe, you know? have a mod harem no 
So listen, now the reaction channels are going to scream about mods now. Hey, but do I see, but do I see suck my burnt, dripping like, moist team? You Thank you for the like, super like, chat. I wonder if she's going to still keep going after Gorlick Red since he showed like, his main again, channel. All that you do, oh. All that you do in life is your karma. And Holy yes, shit, really? Like, I have not I heard any of this tea, but do see. Good for Gorlick Red. Wow. Okay, Marangelo. And then you wanted to be a mod. Like, this is why... And you don't get a refund, by the way, dumbass, because I fucking still get a lot of money every month. So if people got refunds every time I block them, like, the fuck? This is why these people are unhinged. Hi, Tiffany. Like, why the fuck? One minute you're fucking like, I want to be a mod. Hi. And then the next you're like, no, that doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Stay gone. I love when reaction channels get mad at your confidence. It shows that they're insecure. Help me. My self-esteem is so low. Why? If reaction channels want to yell about mods, then they should get rid of their own. Cough, cough, Monty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, whatever. Hi, Charlotte, sometimes. No, somebody creeps. Yeah, <laughs> Kaylee, thank you so much, girl. That's really kind of you to say. Yeah, thank you for the super chat. Like I said, I don't care if you fashion me. Don't fucking sit there and tell me how to process my feelings of something traumatic I went through for a year. Don't tell me how to do that. And yes, you did cause me a lot of trauma. You know you did. You know what you did. And that's all I got to say. I'm not addressing you anymore. You're irrelevant to me. Didi and you can live, fucking travel in the sunset in a fucking horse and carriage for all I give a shit. I don't care. Katie, thank you for the super chat. I mean, probably does bother her. I'm not going to lie. About you today, I was cooking dinner and you had to fucking open your shit mouth because you don't get views without me. Why don't you get about that? Your 8,000 subscribers, you would not have. You would have like eight if you started your own channel without me. Without any of me mentioning you oh me. wait a minute she just slipped. she just fucked up again there she just said it again that she's the one who gave him his platform although every time because now with the court case and everything she's trying to say that no she's not the one who gave him a platform well there she just said it again without her he would only have eight viewers it's all because of her thanks for reminding us again big mouth amber nicole thank you for the super chat It's negative because of your actions. You don't get that. Why is fat shaming okay? It's not, but it happens. And uh, baby Lee, I mean, it's it. You know, jokes about fat jokes and stuff. I don't. I have a sense of humor. That's the thing. I have a sense of humor about myself. But don't like no, sit there all self righteous. It's the ones that like have a big following and have an impression on people by making up shit. Like who? You know what I mean? Who? Pete has more. Subs she than never has an example. She talks mad shit, but there's never even one example. It's Emotional true. support what muffin. Thank you so much for the super chat girl. You you know what? You make fun of Pete's for being needy or whatever. What do you think you are with Didi? You don't own a single thing in that house. Oh my god. Didi, can we go get groceries? Like, are you gonna make fun of Pete's? Like, seriously, shut up. You look stupid. Chantel, I think you meant right off in the sunset on a camel. Oh yeah. <laughs> Money because I deserve it. Since when? Pete is the MVP. <laughs> Have you seen him? She looks like a bullfrog squatting in Motel 6. Matter <laughs> <laughs> is way more needy. Where's my thumbnail? Prepare my stuff. Prepare your own stuff. No, shove your stuff up Didi's butthole. Hi, Cotton Candy. Hi, Lisa. I don't even know what she said. I know she was about me. I'm not just not that interested to even go back and see what it was. I heard Motel 6. It's like, oh, God, a year later. Ma'am, please. Mandy, thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, hi, Amelia. <laughs> I appreciate that, Mandy. Thank you. Jeeves, pack my bags and wipe my bum. <laughs> Jeeves. Remember Ask Jeeves? Remember that site? Mm -hmm. Is it still around? I think so. Ask Jeeves. I think Ask Jeeves still exists. It's just nobody who's, ever. Who's Jeeves? Butler. Jeeves is cooler than Google, isn't it? Kind of. Google isn't a person. Yeah, it's a misspelling of a number. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Pete's no. Uh -huh. I'm skipping. We were a little behind. I can skip mm -hmm. ahead a little. Yay. Modded a racist? Who? Looking like Mr. Clean today, girl. I know. Victims have every right to talk about it. Those who don't understand have never been through it. Goodbye, haters. 
Exactly. And they're not allowed in my circle anymore, period. Enjoy the Oh no, work. she's kicking them out of the bubble. What will they do without being in Chantal's filthy blue cheese smelly bubble? I know. Pretty cool. Thanks, Mimi Pondu. She needs a freaking Snickers bar and a prayer. Thank you, Frankie Forge. It's always good to see you as well. Shoved in my face every day. Yellow is a pretty color. Thank you, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, everybody who I didn't say hi to. Mean girls. Yeah. It's just like ridiculous. It's just so like they, they're like cockroaches scrambling to find something. As soon as I turn the fuck my fucking light on, they're like cockroaches scrambling to find something to hang on to. Nope. This light is staying on. Bitches. Oh my God, Bonnie girl. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so, so much for your advice. Uh, I got him his meds. We got an appointment. Everything worked out fine. Thank you again. I really, really appreciated it. Thank up. <coughs> Fupa fancy. That's a good name. Pete's the hype man. If I book you a flight to UK, oh my God, when? <laughs> that would be scary. <laughs> Probably if you're paying. <laughs> you wouldn't. What the hell? You would do that? Peter Beauty, ooh, I can't let you be that. No. Yes. Whenever you like. Oh, that's nice. Did she take edibles or something? Because I feel like we've gotten to the point where she's so high, we might not get her back. When it, like it, she becomes useless, you know. Um, cockroach is great name for that. Um, yeah. My husband is a silent watcher. We watch you together, but when we are at work and we watch, he texts me about what I say. It's funny. Really. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny don't visit Spain now they banned setting AC below 27 what quirky girl thank you so so much for the support and for the super chat much of the humor that makes me spit my coffee across the room but some of these commentators are literally oh good bacon shaken shaken bacon I mean, I already have, I already kind of have an issue with Spain because of the, uh, Lindsay. because bullfighting is still a thing there. Oh, come on. Here we go. Here we go with Pete. Pete has a problem with Spain now. Pete with Spain because oh. of that. Oh. Um, but if they're keeping air conditioning above, above 27 degrees, ugh, the hell with Spain. Pete's, you live in a country that forced children away from their homes into residential schools and they're still um, digging up the unmarked graves to this day. And God only knows how many more there are. Why don't you shut the fuck up about Spain and about everywhere else? Huh? Be mad at your own damn country. Fucking always has an opinion. No matter what you're going to talk about, where in the world you're going to talk about, this dipshit always has a fucking opinion. But he never really has anything to say about Canada's dirty little secrets, huh? I have a bowl and go to Spain. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you think the beef is going to be tender? Probably. Beef stew, but I'm worried about the beef not being tender. Tiff, yes, I can breathe now. Doesn't it feel like we can breathe in here? Let's him try it. The beef stew edible. He's an expert. <laughs> Emerald, hi. <coughs> Sorry. You were just talking about how you can breathe. Turns out not not well. Oh, and then we have to wait for the pressure valve to stop. Yeah. Ten more minutes. Yeah. What would happen if you open a pressure cooker right away? It'd explode. Really? I don't know. I think it would. Beef stew would fly everywhere. 
Oh my God, Chantal, for us, go and do it. For everyone else, don't ever do it. I didn't even do it. Listen, I'm afraid of pressure, 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 pressure cookers now. Let me tell you quickly what happened one day with a pressure cooker. And it was a pressure cooker. Like, I know what I'm doing with a fucking pressure cooker. I'm sitting in my living room. Pressure cooker is going. Suddenly, I hear this like, poo, like a rocket fucking going off, okay? I go into the kitchen. You know that little nozzle, like on the old-fashioned pressure cookers? Maybe y'all are so young, you don't even know about the old-fashioned ones. Uh, they start they start to wobble, and there's like this little piece of metal, and it, da, 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 and it wobbles on the top. The little fucking piece of metal with all the pressure of the pressure cooker had blown off the top and made a hole in my ceiling. I shit you not. Nini and Natter identify what comes out of a bowl. Blonde Empress, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Only too, because they always were nice to me. And I remember, like, you know, they got me the ninja and everything, so. And I really like them, and they're always nice to me and supportive. <laughs> Everyone here is. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta so be funny. honest. I had used pressure cookers for years up until that point. After that day, I never put the pressure on again. Oh, never, hard. never. I use it like a, like a cookout, like a just a pot to cook in. You know what I mean? No more pressure. That scared the shit out of me. All I could think was, what if I happened to be standing over the fire or near the fucking thing when it exploded like that? <gasps> Or like a dog in the kitchen or something. <gasps> what happened? Like, I want to see like what happens if you open it right away. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. So it, everything just explodes. I wonder if I can find a YouTube video. <laughs> I wonder where <laughs> Applebee's. Hi, big baby. Is that me, big B? Yeah, kitty boop. I don't really know what you call that in English. A cocotte in French. I, I honestly, is that, how the fuck do you call that in English? I really don't know. Like, like a just a big deep pot, <laughs> a roasting pot? I don't know, a stew pot? Cocotte, barnac. I did that and exploded. I got burn on my cheek from a flying tortellini. <laughs> MPT, thank you for the super chat. Yeah. Yeah. No, I show getting it. Black Celia, no. Wait, isn't that crock pot like? Don't you plug those things in? I don't fuck with crock pot. Isn't that thing you plug in? This is just when you cook a Dutch oven. Yes, oh, like a Dutch oven, exactly. Thanks, guys. How long is the video? Like a minute. Oh, I want to see what happens. So do I. I don't trust crock pots. Oh, God. I know y'all think I'm freaks. Here's another freakish thing. I don't trust leaving things plugged in when I have to go to work all day. I leave very, very or minimal things plugged in. I'm one of those freaks. Like, I make coffee in the morning. When I turn off the coffee machine, I unplug it. When I make toast, I unplug it. I'm an unplugger. So the idea of something being on all day, I, I, oh, my God. I couldn't live. I can't do it. So we should not that yeah <laughs> <laughs> chili <Precisely>. everywhere <laughs> that would be like the biggest disaster ever huh yeah i don't have foundation on today i've seen a lot of assholes be like ew your skin looks rough well you tell me not to put filters so here you go and actually i still look pretty good so <laughs> Um, unplugging things is a good habit. Let me tell you why I unplug things. Remember that time Sh uh, Chantal went to Chalet Barbecue, that chicken place, and I was laughing so hard and kind of irrationally hard. Secrets out now. I used to work at Chalet Barbecue. <laughs> At the end of my teens and early 20s, I was a takeout girl at Chalet Barbecue, okay? I know that place like the back of my hand, and that's why, it, and when she was in the parking lot, that's why I knew she was right there. I used to smoke my joints in that fucking parking lot on my lunch hour, okay? Listen, right next to Chalet Barbecue on Sherbrooke at the corner of Addington back in the day used to be a hobby shop. There was a hobby shop that had been there forever, the hobby shop burnt down one weekend. Do you want to guess how it burnt down? The owner left his phone charger plugged in 
somehow the phone charger caught fire on the weekend and they were closed on the weekend. Whole fucking place burnt down. Be an unplugger. Never leave your fucking phone chargers and shit like that plugged in. Oh. And then I like try to crawl in beside her. Corslet skin. She'd always move. Thanks, new me. I do need eye makeup. If I don't put eye makeup, I look so tired. She'd always leave. Like, she oh, would. She's like, oh, I didn't want to make you leave. Oh. Uh, poor Sisu. I miss her too. My face is all spotty and puffy from crying. Oh, what's wrong, Jennifer? I hope you're okay. Nemesis, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> Dee Dee's new name is of Natter from Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> Speaking of which, isn't that coming back? The smoky look, Natasha Denona glam palette. That's a good one. Most of them are probably trolls. Ah, uh, Tweety, I'm glad you can live in my hell with me now. <laughs> I got a million more of those if you really want anxiety. Size. That melted a small part of my cold heart. <laughs> Never putting on fake lashes. I don't want things near my eyes. Just getting stressed about work stuff, chatting with you all. Okay. Well, I'm glad we cheer you up. That's good. That's what we're here for. Elizabeth Moth is so beautiful. Oh my God! Look at yeah, that. See, e see, good. Emily's it's toaster good. just randomly caught fire. Coming back. Be an unplugger. Oh, mm. <laughs> Who wears sunglasses? Handmaid's Tale is sad. It is, and honestly, like with the new abortion laws and everything, it makes me feel like it's like not. I don't know. It's just like something dystopian about it, you know. And it's like every time I watch that, it's like. Shrek's number one fan. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> Let's do watch parties. Yeah, like, I want to use Twitch. I'm going to try to set that up, maybe. We will do watch parties for sure. Yeah. So I'm going to eat with you guys and see the stew, how it turns out. <laughs> you think the stew will turn out nice? Guess we'll have to it's probably going to be liquidy. Oh, really, Metal Hobbit? Ooh, Indy. That is clever, Indy. That makes a lot of sense. You think she's creating the hug box for when that video may or may not wink come out about her, right? Interesting. Wasn't sure if we had to do anything to like get it. To he has a cornstarch. I don't have cornstarch. Okay, let's go see if I have something else. I have, um, does anyone know if I can use? I, I always forget that I brought my cornstarch. To Natter's house. Well, how old would that cornstarch be now anyway? Over a year old and probably not correctly closed. Uh, my own. <laughs> and I always forget to buy cornstarch. Do you know how long it took me to remember to buy that last cornstarch? No one cares. <laughs> hey. Ooh, hey Becky. Happy birthday. <laughs> birthday weekend. I hope you enjoy it, girl. Sorry, mother. Um, I don't know. Like, I haven't. The best eyeliner is the Urban Decay 24 Hour. The one. Um, it's like a coal pencil for liquid liner. She just said the word. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. It's Friday night, and she's putting on the coal. You know what the coal is, right? It's the soot. She's sooted up. She's wearing that bottom soot. She just called it coal. Tabarnak. Chantal. You only get sooty for one person. I don't, haven't found one really that hasn't smudged. Flour mixed with cold water. Heavy cream. 
Chaperone Cherry. That's a good idea. You can release the pressure. I know, but do you think then the, the meat won't be as tender? <laughs> Cornstarch bath. Kate Von D has a good eyeliner and so does Sephora. Yeah, I need to have a list. Oh, what I did today, check it out. Look at this. With some pizza dough, ew. This is my recipe book, so. Recipe book? How many recipe books do you need for meatloaf? Lentil soup, soup is the only thing in there so far. Lentil I soup. It all out. So I don't have to go up because I'm on, I'm on my phone a lot with you guys when I'm in the kitchen. So I can show you how to make my lentil soup and I like have the actual recipe written down. Excuse you. Uh, sitting there with eyes all sooted up talking to us about lentil soup. Do you think we're this stupid? Koki's not impressed because you go and put some soot on and make lentils, okay? He's not going to leave Dee Dee because you're making some fucking lentil soup. No, Chantal, stop it. Stop it. And where you just said that, oh, it's because I'm on my phone a lot and I want to be able to show you how I make my lentil soup. If it was your lentil soup, you wouldn't be looking at a fucking recipe. Hmm? You're showing us how to make some person. You probably Googled lentil soup. You, she probably Googled Egyptian lentil soup. Nader El Shami's mother's Egyptian lentil soup. Fuck. <laughs> Take it down a notch for fuck's sake. Anybody who's made lentil soup once doesn't need a fucking recipe to do it a second time. It's nothing fussy. God damn, she's such a fucking idiot. Look, look at the post. Look, look at how much soot is on that face. And look at all of that recipe. You, oh, you fucking joke, man. Um, yeah, it's a cute book. I like it. I forgot I had it. I never used it. And I was like, I wish I had a recipe book. And I'm like, I think I have a recipe book that I never use. And then I can add my different recipes in here, like, and start cooking and stuff for you guys mercy i'm greek i feel you we're a lentil people <laughs> would you ever need a recipe to make lentil soup don't even answer i know the answer is no it takes a schmuck who's never made lentil soup to have a recipe for lentil soup all-purpose flour and water i don't have floury with age what kind of a home do you have you have no flour she's trying to act like fucking uh I don't even know. <laughs> I only know Shumisha. That's a joke, but it's Moroccan. It doesn't oh, work. Fine. You're trying to be fucking Shumisha in the kitchen and you don't even have flour? Fail. I actually use this. I actually like this mix more than just the lentils. So this is uh, red lentils, split peas, yellow and green. And it's a mix and I make a nice soup with it. You can use lentils. So what you're saying lentils. is you're not making lentil lentils soup. Or... You're making some kind of mush of like peas and lentil soup. Lentils? Pigfoot Contessa! Oh my god, no! <laughs> really good. Whatever you want to use, any kind of legume, put in instant ramen noodles in the stew. No. I'm not my president. <laughs> Dried pea chips are good. Yes, I've had that. The oh snaps too, but those are like pressed peas, gravy granules. Mercy, um, an Algerian friend of mine once said to me, "Why we all get along so well, the Greeks, the Arabs in general, and stuff? Uh, it's because we're all olives." Hmm? <laughs> she said in French, "On tout des olives." Like we're all different olives from the Mediterranean area, so we all kind of get along, and all the food is somewhat the same with a little different spice. <laughs> Armenians too. And ironically, Armenian and Greek is the closest, uh, or I should say, Armenian language is the closest language to Greek language. Lemon and 
dill. Gross. I don't, I don't know. I have nothing, so I'm gonna have to. I'll film you, film you if you want. Oh, mud so slicker, you're totally right. <laughs> Listen, there's exceptions. Ah. Waiting for the pot to. I put Worcester Lindsay. Heat pressurize. And then uh, once we do that, we're gonna add some ketchup and some cream and some frozen vegetables. Vegetables of the day. Frozen vegetables. You're making hair. stew. Oh, I'm not gonna shit on it totally, I suppose, but what's the point of making stew, that like delicious, slow roast, and, and you're using some frozen vegetables? Damn. Yeah, with my sister. When she was a kid. All right. Oh my God, Anna, thank you for the super chat. That seems like it. Would be enough. May or may not be enough, I don't know. Is that enough peas and carrots? Oh! Is that gonna Carly! Be Carly, you were hot as fuck, Rusty. Yeah, that'll probably I be I love enough. you, Carly! That'll probably be enough, I think. Pete's still yes, talking and she's yes. trying to talk to Carly! Pete, shut up, no one cares. You think this is enough peas and carrots? More? We'll see. Just a little bit. <laughs> no, that's too many. Yeah. That's probably good. No, you need more. I know those bags of cedar vegetables. That's from Adonis. <laughs> like Pulling out the Adonis goods to temp your cokey with your coal. <laughs> and see what it looks like. What are you guys having for supper, Carly? Why won't my chat send? Why do you put me in the corner? These triggers it didn't send. Oh, hi, Sam Q. I seen you, by the way, but he, um, he was filming. So tweak that recipe from Matter and make it yours. Call it bum lentil. I actually do tweak it. Hell. <laughs> Vicky White, thank you for the super chat. And I use vegetable broth. I don't know if he does use vegetable broth in his. What does that say, 10? Yeah. Did you put it on 10? I didn't do anything. I didn't touch it. It's been steadily climbing. Oh, okay. So we're gonna take this and go. Oh my God! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Flirty Hershey. Is it a Canadian thing? Are you all mixing your ketchup and cream for food? No, I've never even heard of that before in my life. Oh, I'm still at twilight. Okay. Yeah. Now we have to wait ten minutes. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> well, good jar. Right? It was on low. It smells good. You sure we can't just like hold it open to let the steam out? Can I let the steam out? No, it has to deeper. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. <laughs> You fucking idiot! Leave it for 10 minutes and then take the pressure off. Fucking Christ. I'm having like a fucking flashback to the hole in my ceiling. For anybody who's using a pressure cooker, you're not supposed to do it like that. You're supposed to take it off the heat, leave it, come back to it, and then you take the pressure off. Oh, my God. So, hold on. The frozen vegetables just go on cold. Yeah, because they're cooked. And they go in the hot stew, and they cook in the stew while, uh, you know what I mean? Okay. You need a fork, or? I need to, uh, I'll just grab a spoon here. Okay. She scratched herself with all that shit, Pete's. Where are your leggings from? Me? Me? 
Oh, they're just uh, from Pennington. <laughs> Starting to make fart noises. They're not like they're not leggings. They're dirty. Just just pants. And I got. I'm wearing. Pressure's coming out. Oh God! You can do it with one of those uh, plug-in ones. Oh fuck! Oh. Okay, okay. Thank you for letting me know. My anxiety's going way down immediately. All you people with your fancy new shit. <laughs> I probably my pressure cooker that exploded into the ceiling. Stuff. It's probably the one like your great grandmother's used. <laughs> But I would bet money without knowing that the food came out better on my fucking janky old one than it does on this. It's like, imp how could it not? Oh, yeah. That's good, good. Yeah. Okay, that's enough peanut butter. Oh, yeah. That's going to be really hot. So now we're going to add some, about maybe like a quarter cup, half a cup of ketchup. <laughs> and a little bit of cream. We'll hopefully thicken it, you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Mm. Mm. There's something weird going on with fruits and vegetables this summer. You might notice certain fruits and vegetables that are normally grown in California this year, you will find, have been grown in Canada because California is dealing with such a water shortage that we're, for example, in Quebec this summer, growing all the Driscoll's strawberries. You know, Driscoll's, that American, that California company? Yeah, they're all made in Quebec this summer. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Pretty much ready. What do you think? You gonna eat some now? Yep. It's liquidy. You gotta wait. Oh. I'm going to use this mug. Serving ladle. Yeah. We don't have no choice. Resourcefulness. Serving with a mug. Wow, look at all this beef stew. I got to get a look at this stew. I'm so curious about her instant pot thing. It's a little liquid, though. Oh, yeah, that is. Come on, how long does it taste to dish yourself some fucking stew? Show us the stew so we can dip. I'll wipe it off, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we should, really should have just gotten a spoon to do this with. Okay. Well, I like the gravy because I can put with bread. But you don't. Yeah, because I'm weird. Are you going to give it a big try on camera? Yep. All right, you get the yep. napkin and wipe it up. You'll just have to be careful about how you... Uh... About how I hold it, yeah. I know it sounds gross, guys, but it's because we don't have a thickener, but... Oh, well. If you eat bread... Shady you... Lane, thank you for the super oh. chat. That's awesome. Uh, my whole family love Galactoburiku. I don't like it. I don't like anything with like custard. I, I don't like custard like that. And I could never remember that name when I was a kid. That was another one I had a funny name for. I always call it Galactic Booty Ass. <laughs> that's not even that close, but that's always been its name. And to this day, that's what I call it. And I find it weird. All the Greek pastries with the fucking custard in them. Ugh, ruined. Ugh. Not bad. Until that, I'll need to add a little bit of salt, but. Okay. You can season it to your taste. Yep. All right. Look pretty good. So. Beef stew. Bye. There you go.
Oh, that's the filming for his video. I'm like, what's going on? Right, right, right. His video. Go eat upstairs. Oh, great. Bye. Bon appetit. Bye. Enjoy. Thank you. Too. I will. Add my meal. Oh my God, turn around, what are you doing? Oh my God. Okay, guys, we'll do the five minute thing because now she's going to sit and start eating and it's going to make me sick and stuff. Fuck all that noise. Okay, five minutes. If she doesn't say something interesting, we move on with our Fridays. All right? What? All the liquid. I'm just like trying to get all the stuff out. And this is our supper today, folks. I got stew all over my shirt. Hold on. Only Chantal could have stew all over her shirt before she even takes the first bite. That's amazing. Ich stew. Ich beef stew. And the meat is so tender. Like, look at that. It like just falls apart basically. Like watch. I can't. I'm that meat is it. not falling apart. Okay, it's sort of falling it like falls apart, apart basically. basically. Um, we don't. We're not talking about that, Ted, unless you want to be blocked. So, it wasn't him. So every loser in the world who doxes people needs to get fucked and get out of here. Oh, it wasn't him she's trying to say. Lies. All right. And to say I doxed somebody? No, I didn't. Mm. I actually don't really like Ted at all, so goodbye. I'm not putting up with any of that shit anymore. My life is so peaceful with Natter and Doodoo -doo out of it. And with these people as well that just want to fuck with my life. Goodbye. <sighs> I have some Swiss cheese. Okay, y'all, I'm going to be straight with you. I have to give Ollie two pills right now. So I'm just going to go and do that quick, quick, okay? Just That's why I'm not talking for a minute. No, buddy, Terry. Get rid of all the troublemakers. Yes. I don't want troublemakers here. That's exactly it. Sorry. Not sorry. And if you fuck up... And you want to come back, you can make another account and pay it in. I'm not putting up a shit from anyone anymore. Life is too short. I have pita bread to dip it. Dip it good. I'm going to just have half. Portion control. I have some olives, spicy olives. I'm gonna have one right now with this nice red pepper. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Hi Susan. And someone said I deserve my God is fucked, Shay. I cannot like these people are insanely sick and there's no helping them. There's not even any point in addressing them. I'm a spicy olive, yes. Like, that's what they want. People, some people live 
to make others miserable. It's like a pastime. It's weird. But you, nobody can affect you if you don't let them. Lauren, well, within reason. <laughs> okay, sorry, y'all. I'm back. He gave me a little lip. He's are a bit crunchy. But he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He took them. He just gave me lip. I had to do the second one a few times. <laughs> That's messed up. But there's certain places they like to make fun of people like for with disabilities and you want something sweet. The woman who uses the R word all the time is talking about other people making fun of people with disabilities. Nice. It is good. Very tender. And healthy. Right? Really? You don't like beef stew? They will get their karma. Of course. It's going to happen. Don't worry, Che. They already do living like they do. I mean, no one happy would say something like that to somebody. It wouldn't happen. You know what I mean? Mm, it's good. The peas and carrots taste fresh. Like they're not like. A gross brand. And please. Like a cheap. That's a large mm. piece of meat to take in one bite. Jesus. You love beef stew. Love you too, Che. Lemon and hot sauce. Mm, lemon. A dash of vinegar. I like it how it is. It's really good. Oh, hot sauce. Yeah. What's hot sauce and stew? That is weird. What is hot sauce? I don't have lemon, but... Ah, oh, fucking sriracha. Of all the things, man. Cholula, Cholula. What are you doing? This is you. My sriracha. BBL queen. <laughs> a Brazilian butt lift? Do you have to go to Brazil for that? She put cheese in the stew? What? What did I miss? The fuck? Dude, you're so funny. The minute Carly comes in here. Carly, you're hot. You are, Carly. You're very hot. Very beautiful. What? Sriracha? Oh, you don't have, you didn't have sriracha where you were? Oh my God, rusty spoons. Thank you for the super chat. Same. She gets so zen with a spoon in her mouth, eh? Oh. So if you go somewhere else, would it still be a Brazilian butt lift? Or is it just easier to just call it that? The stew looks good. Thank you. It is. And it's not that, it's liquidy, but... I don't mind because I have bread. Who the fuck puts no. who puts cheese in a stew? That is the no, dumbest thing I've ever story. seen in my life. What the fuck is wrong with her taste buds? Wow. That does suck. It has to be the Rooster brand for me. That's my favorite sriracha. What about you guys? You can make sriracha, you know that? It's actually really easy. Just get some chilies. So if it's so easy, why don't you stop preaching and make some sriracha yourself? Who's a troll? Oh, BBL is the style of butt lift. Okay. I comprend it. Carly, you and Josh should come to the Middle East and bees with me. Oh, for the love of God. 
imagine the anxiety. <laughs> Terry Lynn, touche, Terry Lynn, good point. Oh, be back later, Queen. I thought you were calling me a Brazilian butt lift queen. Butt lift what? I haven't been talking because there's olives in that stew. What the fuck is this stew? Where did she find these fucking recipes? Or did she just start chucking stuff in there? I'm not going now. My mental health is way too messed up to do something like a long trip so i'm just gonna like hang around not go any further than montreal oh fuck off please god stop it stop coming here a long trip i'm so messed up right now swear to god i'd rather eat the chili than this cheddar right The Balderson cheese aged cheddar. Is it not a Canadian cheese? I have a crush on it. Stay home. Yeah. I'm staying home tonight. Well, hey, Wiccan Dad. Ah, welcome to the mix. <laughs> My cats woke me up. I was like, oh shit, I'm sorry, guys. They were walking. I could feel like in my dream, I was like, I could feel something walking on me, and I was like, what's going on? I always have the same dream that I'm in a hospital or a high school. Hi, Mitsu. Like Interesting. In a hospital or a school. So what you're saying is, even in your dreams, know you know that you should be institutionalized. <laughs> Stuff, but I'm just trying to <laughs> focus on just that, you know. But it is difficult a bit. I think I'm full. I'm trying to stop when I've had enough. Oh, she didn't like it. She, if she's stopping, she doesn't like it. Rusty Spoons, thank you again for the super chat. Vitamin, have some hibiscus tea. Maybe later for a snack. I want to catch. Hibiscus tea. Wait. She's wearing soot. She's talking about lentils. And now she's going to go and drink her hibiscus tea. Get the fuck out of here. Up on 90 Day Fiance. I just, For anyone uh, who maybe forgets or didn't see, Koki's the one who, at the one time that he was allowed at the villa, made her hibiscus tea. Possibilities of improving my life. It's a really thing to be stressed about because it's a good thing, but Biden declared monkeypox a state of emergency. Oh shit. And it's trending. Oh hell yeah. She'll end the stream soon enough and like, okay guys, I think I'm gonna go Mario Bees, but then not show up for Mario and actually be stuffing her face with paneer. Where's my foil? What is she doing? Sorry, that's gross. What the fuck did she? What the, and she put it back in the drawer. What did she just clean her teeth with a piece of tin foil and put it back in the drawer? What the fuck? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And she makes me so sick. <clears throat> Flossing with foil. That's like. Hobo behavior. You you're now behaving like a hobo. I'm gonna make my lentil soup, I guess, tomorrow. It's my favorite, and I have that eggplant. I need to make something with. I might make. Ah. Uh, I might make. Ah. Uh, could I make eggplant parm? Ah. Uh, I could probably make eggplant parm, but I don't have mozzarella. Hi, born to bees. Hi, Sarah. What? It's not really that big of a deal, you think? I could make eggplant parm with uh, noodles. I have tortellini in the freezer. 
I want to cook at home, period. I don't like being broke because I order up too much. I don't like fucking... Um, I don't like spending money on Uber Eats anymore. It makes me feel dirty. Knowing that I'm doubling the price of something, just... Ugh, I don't know. Knowing how people are hungry. I just... I fucking hate it. Oh, God. Here oh, we go. For me? I think I would rather just... I don't know. Try to... Try to cook because it's better for your health. Like, you know. Help no, me. you you put a pound of cheese into a fucking stew. Could, it's yeah. not better for your health. What no. Stop doing. Stop clickbaiting people. Like I fucking seen a um, a thumbnail of a reaction channel where they're like, "This needs to stop." No, it doesn't need to stop. It needs to stop. When I, what needs to stop is you stop telling me and other people how long, and no, it's just me. You need to stop telling me how long it takes me to process trauma that I've been through. You need to stop telling me and downplaying what I've been through just because I went back to him because that's very normal. So fucking learn something before you are a critique channel and you want to give criticism on something. You should really learn what you're the subject you're talking about because you sound really ignorant. Shut the fuck Where up. Stop you? telling people what to talk about. For fuck's sake, Chantal. Talking about who Whatever. sounds fucking ignorant. This bitch doesn't even know what's going on in her own city and talking about who else is ignorant. Shut up. Stop going to Instagram instead of therapy. Fuck. They are the ones who need to stop, not me. This is my story. This is my life. You know what I mean? I have a right to process whatever I want, however. She I want. just said process to us on a fucking Friday. Anybody ready to dip? There needs to be a flare for channels who do that. Fuck. Yeah. Chantal, it took some mess of us many years. I hate when people claim how someone should handle a traumatic experience. And especially like I don't know. Say it. Like, mind your business. Like, mind your business. Like, I don't understand. All these people do is complain, but they're, like, the first ones to be obsessed with what I do. Anyway. Hmm. I know how she was going to finish that sentence. She's too much of a fucking coward. Good. I'm still laughing at the Disney comment. See, some, I have a dark sense of humor, too. A lot of the time. Some people don't. My grandma. Well, she's a grandma for a reason. Do you guys like these peppers? Oh, fuck off. That's it. That's it. Oh, let me close the tab. Oh. Uh, it, it's the first, like, two seconds, eh, when we turn her off. Oh, it feels so good on the ears. Just not hearing that fucking voice. <laughs> oh my God. I know how she wanted to end that sentence. She wanted to end that sentence with me saying that I should like know better because I've gone through it. No, bitch. I do know better because I've gone through it. And that's why I will continue to keep calling you out on your bullshit. You haven't gone through it. You weren't in a relationship. You kept putting yourself in it. You did everything you can to keep putting yourself in it. It's not the same. It'll never be the same. You have no idea what it's really like to be in it and to get out of it. So shut the fuck up. And I dare you next time, finish that fucking sentence, Chantal. I dare you. Do it. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, y'all, that's us caught up in real time in Chantopolis. I mean, she's still going. I don't give a damn. If more rage comes out of this, I'll record it. It'll be what we start with tomorrow, but I have a feeling it's going to be just kind of the same old, same old. Hmm? It's me, Jojo. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Um, Yeah, I, I think we're pretty much done here for tonight in terms of Chantal. Indy, have a great night, girl. Have a great weekend. Oh. Yeah, Blank FM. It's only 7.35 p.m. It's going to be a long night. You are absolutely right, girl. And she's pissed. Let's remember, 
She's pissed at Koki right now. She's obviously pissed at Didi. She's raging at reaction channels. But what she's really pissed about, the big Turk got doxxed. <laughs> so if Koki comes out later, starts talking shit, you guys just know that she will be back talking mad shit all night long, taking out the rage about the fact that the big Turk got doxxed. Wouldn't it be fucking hilarious if now the big Turk wants nothing to do with her because he's been doxxed? <gasps> Will she ever learn from her own mistakes? It's a second guy who's been doxxed because she had to flash her phone and make a point. Girl, you're so dumb. You'll never learn. Bonnie Pepperoni. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Ooh, pizza date. Enjoy. I hope you have so much fun. Be safe, girl. All right. Everybody's off to do their thing. I love it. Everybody. Thank you so, so much for being here and catching up in real time. It was a great stream. Lots of laughs, lots of burns. We like it like that on a Friday. Hey! <laughs> Everybody, enjoy the rest of your Fridays, whatever you're doing. Have a great time. Please be safe. Keep your masks on. And I will meet you guys back here tomorrow for some Saturday streams, a little girl gang in the afternoon. You know how we do on a Saturday. I'll see you then, guys. Bye.